Perfect. Hey, what's up, guys? Dope as usual here. I hope you're having a dope ass day. I am here with my co host, Marty O'Neill. What's up, folks? What's up? This is the Dope as Usual podcast. We're here to talk about life, a lot of problems and accomplishments, everything in between. Sorry, we hit, we were taking rips. <laughs> uh, guys, today, you guys asked every eight seconds. Last time, during the premiere, people were like, you got to have him back. Like, bro, <laughs> he's here now. He's here right now. Here I am. So here we go, guys. We're back. Fan favorite. This is a Goblin episode. Thank you for having me back. I'm Thank very excited being to here. be here again. It's we, my pleasure. We were mid sentence. Sorry, guys. We were mid sentence. <laughs> I went, no, we got to come back. We just started talking again. Boom. Have I ever followed and did the cop missions in Grand Theft Auto? You said mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no. You're you're tweaking. You really? have GTA right now, right? Like you like got it at the crib. You just pretend to be the cop. Just get in a cop car, and there's an option to press a button. Oh yes, yes, I pressed like, it, but I've never really vigilante. You never right? did, yeah. The vigilante missions, yeah. bro. And they're as you like get further into them, you start having to like chase muffers, and like they're shooting out the car at you, and you start having to do like crazier, and then just like pull up on one guy. You know, it gets more lit the but further you get. I haven't done that, but like I said, I like to when you spawn mm -hmm. and you see someone running, the cops chasing him. I will chase him and do the the weave run and mm -hmm. knock into him see, so I, I can think, see what happens. I think it's like human it. nature to to f it up in GTA. Of and course. I think if you like follow the law in GTA, you're terrifying as a person. Like you scare or a child or my no, cousin. No, honestly, as, as, I, as I was saying about, about my kid, I'm like, this could go either way. This is like because we got on this like topic because Marty's <laughs> we're like, we got a child like that drives so yeah. innocent, like so innocent. Yeah, that's exactly. it. I think that's what it is. They're like, holy. Is the, you said pull me. <laughs> yeah, since a little kid, following all the street signs, not going on red, not hitting anybody, not causing like. And then we show the, the opposite, which is us, when we're like, no, C4 the whole line no. of traffic. Yup, yup, blow them all. Watch Yo, them Cam, all blow up. Cam did like a, like you'd see a board slide, a skateboard, like mm -hmm. I think that's what it's called, like a yeah. grind. He did that with a plane on the mountain, though. Incredible. I didn't know that was possible. He came and slid on the edge of the mountain with the plane. Like and a kept skateboard. going? Yeah. Damn, that's fire. <laughs> didn't He's mean doing to do tricks. It. He didn't mean to do it. We like to go up and then jump out and slam into the side of buildings. So. <laughs> yeah. That yeah? shit is fun yeah. as hell. <laughs> All right, I like that one. I that shit is I fun as hell. The older one, but the new one, my favorite thing is to go on top of the mountain. The mountain mm -hmm. that has the gondola lift, the lift, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And you know the big people with the binoculars, they're always at the edge. Yeah. I just go <laughs> sock them. And sometimes they get knocked out and you fall. You see him roll down. <laughs> yes, but yep. most of the time, if you hit and you just, he does that weird hard kick, mm -hmm. you can watch somebody fall hundreds of yards, then go. Th off. <laughs> Damn, I love it so much. It's so fun because you, I do the things that you would never do in life. Mm -hmm. But like, and at the GTA. end, yes, at the end, mm -hmm. I, I, I dirt bike. There's always a dirt bike. I hit that little jump right by the. Mm -hmm. Right by the uh, thing. Oh, it's so fun. It gets kind of, it's kind of scary. I know you're not real, <laughs> uh -huh. but when you're in a car and you're like, oh, you're like, oh my God, mm -hmm. I'm about to die. I'm like, oh. I still get like that with GTA, dude. <laughs> I don't know why. I still I, do, especially in shootouts. I don't know if I've ever felt nervous in GTA. Like, I do. My, <gasps> <laughs> oh my God. Or you know what? I get nervous. I'm still, I'm afraid of the water. Like in real life, mm -hmm. so going in the water in GTA when it's. So you would never go on like a, <sighs> like a boat in GTA. I do. I'm saying it just makes me feel creepy when I jump in, and oh. it's just black abyss, yeah. and I'm flo and I'm swimming. I'm like, oh, it I just makes me feel like I'm so into the damn game. So I'm like, oh damn, my God, I'm in the it's water. that immersive. Mm. On the GTA clips uh, that you use, like on the gameplay footage, how do you pick that footage? Is it just random, or is it like, damn, this is like my best um, work right here? Sometimes I have moments, and I'm like, I'll just edit that. I don't really post that many GTA clips anymore because I haven't been playing that much. Mm -hmm. um, but when I did, it would just be like, I, I would kind of know when there was a moment that would be a good clip. And then I'd just hit up my editor and be like, yeah, cook. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I, I haven't really been playing that much lately because uh, the mode I was playing was uh, GTA RP. And that oh, is yeah. so time consuming, mm. bro. Takes like you gotta play so many hours every day to like keep up, mm -hmm. you know. Otherwise, other people will like do other stuff and like you won't be able to do it. 
Uh, you know, it's the level. It's very competitive. Yeah. Gotcha. Are, are you ever doing it like playing the game and telling the story at the same time? Um, no. I mean, sometimes on streams, I'll like tell a story while I'm streaming. You know, mm. um, but no, I get the gameplay and the story separately. I sit down and I like. For at least pretty much all my videos, I sit down, I like record the story, and then I go play the game, mm -hmm. or like vice versa. Is there any but. really new like cracking games right now we should know about? Bro, oh baby, oh! <laughs> Every time I see my PlayStation, I go, Nick, I need to start playing. Games. Right. Yeah, so much fun, dude. Mm -hmm. Video games are the. Shit. And you said I don't know what I do with them in life if I didn't have video games in them. I think about them. Like, yeah. That sounds fun. Right. It, it's fun. You just gotta find games you like. You gotta figure out like what fun. kind of game you like. Yeah. I like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Everyone likes Grand that's Theft it. Auto, though. That's <laughs> like I just want to do whatever I want. Try Skyrim. Cars. I like realistic. Like I don't like giant swords and monsters and blades. Yeah, but you people, people do whatever the fuck you Red want. Red Dead's fun. Red Dead's lit. Oh. Yeah, Red Dead is sick. That's I an amazing tie. game. But it's a Rockstar so game. Every like Rockstar game is bomb. So. I think it's just I want to do things I can't do in real life, but also like things I. Could do consequences weren't there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think like flying is just not like a cool thing unless it's like flying a GTA is. Dude, sweet. you could fly yeah. in real life. You could take flight classes. I'm talking about flying as like in, as your body. Oh <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, strap a parachute on and you could. I you guess kind of do like that too. Sky or uh, Doom. The new Doom is why the new Doom it's is just crazy. crazy. My mm -hmm. cousin played it. I'm like I don't want to play, but I will watch it play because that's it's hard. Wild. It's hard. It's like a movie. Mm -hmm. These games have cinematic pieces I've never seen. Yeah, a lot of the games have like, it's literally half cinematics and like half gameplay now. Like you're just watching this almost movie as you play the game. It is. It's crazy. It's, I don't know how I like it. Do I you just sit like there the, and watch the whole or you just Hell, like, nah, bro. Movie. Unless I'm like really, yeah, really separate. interested. <laughs> hell nah. The I'm first time shit. I'll watch. Yeah, I But not at Time Crisis. At the arcade, I'll click shoot to skip. Oh, yeah. In a heartbeat. What was, was the... Uh, I found a sick one. What was it like zombie, like the Haunted Mansion one? With oh, you're talking you about the House of the Dead. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly oh, what I was yeah. thinking of, bro. That game was a banger. Dude, it's, I'd never be past the second level still. I get in that hallway with the like doctor looking things I think they were. Mm -hmm. I'm done. I die. She get a House of the Dead machine and like put well, it in here. I found a it's time perfect. crisis that has four, three, two, oh. and one. How much? Or no, it's it's four to four and three, or four and five, and then two and one. I can't remember. It was eight K for the whole time crisis for the machine. Whole thing, dude. Dude, honestly, that's worth it. That's it like a lifelong investment. Like you could play that forever. You could get maintenance on that. Like, dude, I'm that's I'm actually a, a worth big the money. Time crisis player. I'm. I finally beat it. I think I posted it like last year. I finally beat the game. But like my back will hurt about level two because I'm like this. Like a cop. <laughs> always like this. But bro, you should see it. I am murking fools. Headshots, headshots. Yeah. I love Time Crisis. Right. And I'll do this one. That's how I shoot. Fire. You tap your trigger finger? Okay. Oh, I see him, him like this. <laughs> bro, it's fun. Time Oh, we got to get it. Fuck we'll yeah. Split it and we'll just keep it in my house. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like I'm, I'm down, bro. Honestly, <laughs> I'll throw on it too and I'll just come through and play it. How fun. I'll throw on it. We I'm should get a Time Crisis sponsor bro. and be like, yo, we'll get a clip of every single Are the guest devs of that playing. even around anymore? Like, is what does that, that mean? Are, are the people who made that even around? Like, is that even still live? Yeah, yeah. Time Crisis 5 is new. Oh, I saw a Dave and Buster's. There's, a new, played there's it. a new Time Crisis. It has like a machine gun. It has a oh. handle. Mm. Wait, that's fire though. Yeah, that's sick. It, is it not as good? It's a little is different. I don't know. It's a little. It's like it sounds cool. When I was shooting, it was a little different. I don't know. We're into video. See, look what happens to video games. Get okay, lost. We'll talk about for maybe five hours, mm -hmm. bro. There's a million video games that you got to play. There's just so <sighs> many. You ever played Zoop? What the f Zoop? It's on Sega. It's just shapes. I don't know about that one. And they no. move around. It's a kid game. I used to play with screensaver. <laughs> it's, it is kind of like a, it's like the, the things in the water with the shapes. You shake them. You oh, try to hit yeah. them on the on the, hook, oh, the, hole, the loop. It's kind of like that, but a game. Mm -hmm. Except it's like nothing. It does nothing. Uh -huh. What about games on the iPhone? Is there anything that's like um, for a long time? In term like mobile stuff, there's some fun stuff to like around with. Call of Duty made a mobile version that's good. Really? Yeah, bro. You can actually play mobile phone? Call of Duty, and it's decent. Mm. Like, a lot of people play it. I couldn't imagine um, playing it on my phone. I could, I'd, I'd never play it. I would just... It would die so fast. It's uh, it's popular. A lot of people do play it. But um, on your phone, 
playing game. Don't you see yourself going moving texts? Well, I just missing don't. sixty texts. Yeah, I agree. I never play like, games. No, on my no, phone. no. I'm playing a game. The bro. only That's thing good. that <laughs> you could really play on mobile decently, bro. The RuneScape app is good. We've talked about RuneScape before, haven't RuneScape we? RuneScape app is good. I still don't know. What, we it's a game. I haven't played it still. It's a, oh it's no, we talked about Roblox. Game. Yeah, Roblox. You talked, talked about. about Roblox. You talked about Roblox. Yes, I'm Roblox sh- is crazy. Have you seen like no. some of the things that they've been able to make? Roblox is almost like a platform more than like a game in itself. Like people make games within Roblox out of like Roblox assets and like they mod the game, right? Like Sims. So, not really. No, I never it's, played Sims. I just you know, <laughs> a world you build. That's all I had. I mean, you could you make a version of the Sims in Roblox, honestly. <laughs> Roller coaster like, extreme. So what people do is they make versions of other games in Roblox. So there's like a Call of Duty in Roblox that looks like Call of Duty. What? Like the graphics, I swear to God, they're good. It looks like COD. Like it's insane. There's a world within a world. Yeah, it's like a, like a game within a game, and people like Roblox is just like. No one's playing just Roblox. They're always playing like some sort of game mode on there. And there's just a million different game modes that people have made. Some of them are like very questionable and horrible. I've, I've seen. <laughs> I played a Valve Index that my brother has the uh-huh. thing to come from the ceiling. The, the Valve Index is sick. I get. I, I'm sad because I get sick. I get motion sickness. Oh, I feel that. I I uh I used sucks, to have an index, dude. But um, you create worlds. You ever do a game where you my brother can do the coding shit. No, I never did that. Bro, he created a world. It's like it's just a big warehouse. He, he he was Spider-Man. He was a bunch of different people. He was swinging web. What the hell? But he has like eight buttons. This guy pops up a, a warrior. This guy's a this. This guy's a civilian. This guy's a Call of Duty guy. One guy has a gun and you press it and he'll just them. There's three Damn. tables of any type of knife you can think of, any gun you can think of, any mm-hmm. explosive. And it's sad. We talked about it before, but like the guys talk to you. What's up, man? Mm. And like, you know, you can grab them by the head and just shove a knife right in their neck. <laughs> and you can see them and then you hear, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and like their mouths open with a knife going. <laughs> and you can see the knife. It's disgusting. It's like, I did a lot of these in the ear. <laughs> oh, but I was Spider-Man swinging web too. Uh-huh. Spider-Man is fine. It was, and you just do this and it makes you go higher. You're going to have to tell Jake Johnson about this. Too much. Oh, oh, I was Dude. Spider-Man Merkin. Have you seen the Apple Vision Pro? I No. Have I've been seeing seen the it? commercials for it. Do I have a loose understanding. Apple Vision, like classes? Mm, not really. Dude, the Apple Vision Pro is probably the craziest thing they've ever released. What is it? It's um, an augmented reality headset. Um, it comes out in like two days. What? Pre-orders happen like a week and a half ago. It's thirty five hundred dollars. Oh, what yeah. does it do? What does it do? No, no, no. Honestly, you should look up like a video at some point while we're like whatever. At some point today, just look up a video. It's augmented reality. So it's if I had this headset see. on, right? It's like a VR headset. Um, it has a battery life of about two hours, not plugged into anything. Uh, it has scanners that scan where your eyes are and projects them, so the like you would see where my eye, like you would see my eyes. Yeah. Right. Um, it tracks my eyes. So I'm looking around and I have like a Mac OS interface in my vision at any time I need. Tony Stark. And I control it with my eyes and my fingers. So I can look around. Right. And if I, let's say, want to open an app, I just look at the app icon. It just knows where my eyes are looking. And I just pinch and it'll open the icon. Right. I can scroll like this. I can put windows anywhere. I can attach things over people. Like I can put a timer up and just put it anywhere I want within my field of vision, within the whole room. It's crazy as f- <laughs> you have a whole computer at your disposal. You have a whole computer at your disposal. But like this, Tony Stark style. Yeah, Tony Stark style. You're just and no one, else, no one else can see it. Porn like that. Bro, no one oh. else can see that shit. Fools are going to be teaching class while watching porn. Yeah, yeah. But hey, what's up? It's over just with, like, dude. Uh, the horny pervs. Perv ass teachers. It's over. They're going to have a timer. Like skin mode where you can't tell that it's on pretty soon. This is just camera yeah. in your face. Mm-hmm. So it's the future. We're here. It is. We're here. Give it 10 years. It'll be crazier. Weird. Like, it's already here, though. All right. I'm kind of here for it a little. Are you? I'm here. For, not for that. I'm not putting that shit on. I'm here for this. Ding. I press a button. Go. Oh, wait. It's Alexa. But not Alexa. Ah, fuck. It's Alexa. Never mind. I'd like I was to like, open like, my blinds. Turn the music on. If it just projected a hologram, I could kind of do that with. I'd be okay with that, too. Yeah. Bro. So you Ooh, can that's so you can FaceTime people in it, right? It. You can FaceTime people and video call people, and it scans your face, right? So it just show and your face. creates 
like an AI like recreation nope. of now your you face. On mm. from Power Rangers. They're gonna <laughs> put this in a tube. It's Black Mirror time. Yep. It's here. Mm-hmm. It's Black Mirror time. They're gonna do a facial scan and everything you think and talk. The and AI make knows an what we AI look like. Of you. It's over. Mm-hmm. Over it. It has all your memories. It goes basically. through. And none of that goes through your Instagram scans. Every single thing you like to wear, and just makes an image of you. Mm-hmm. And that image of you is FaceTiming people, going, "Hey, racist stuff, racist stuff." <laughs> and and then you're. Is that how done. AI revolts? It just starts calling all my homies and dropping like hard R's. A hundred. Per- no, no, no. Like <laughs> steel titanium, like hardest R's you've ever heard. Oh no! Steel titanium. Like R's the hard, like the fucking. <laughs> Like the was the anvils and then they got a thump <laughs> to him <laughs> and Wildy Coyote. <laughs> just gonna get us all canceled. <laughs> I'm here for it. You're here for it? I don't I'm know. Kidding, if I'm man. I'm kidding. I, if I can go, hey, Alexa, <laughs> turn on the. Actually, it does do that in Vegas. Remember, Alexa, open the blinds. Mm-hmm. Open the. It's already it here. It was sick as hell. But I where'd you li- stay at? The wind. Yeah, I stayed there before too, and I was amazed where like, I could be like. And then I unplugged lines. her. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, I left <laughs> it in. I, I was like, that's sick. Yeah, I left it in. I, I could do. I it. could talk to it. I don't like it knowing, and I. St- uh, I will not understand. I don't understand what you're saying. I just started cussing at her. Yeah. She does not appreciate it. <laughs> Neither does Siri. Siri will shut off. Have you ever talked to Siri enough? Um, She'll shut down. I've, I've given a little like Fuck you. You, you know, should do like, it. You should do it until she shuts down. She yeah. says. Pity stuff to me when I wasn't even like saying anything to her. She'll give me See, like, I don't like you got a little lines. attitude on a series. I don't like it. Really, <laughs> series a little sweetie pie to me. I don't know. <laughs> you know you love technology. <laughs> well, you're like, I got the MacBook. I got the iPad, bro. Oh, you're like, connected. Yeah. I have a smart bed. They're gonna just fold my ass. I got half. the AirPod Maxes. <laughs> get all pissed at me. Start folding. I'm connected. Oh, I saw. I forget what show it was, but it was like technology took over and it took control of all the Teslas. And then it would like, it took a couple Teslas down the freeway, stopped them, took a couple more, slammed them into the back, slammed them into the back, slammed them what? into the back until it just clogged up all the freeways of Teslas. You mean Shit something that scary. could happen tonight? Yeah. This is why I bought a gas car. Right. Gas car. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's scary, man. You yeah. ever seen War of the Worlds or World War Z yes, where all yes, the people yes. start climbing? Yes. Teslas mm-hmm. could do that. Mm. So Go up 85, come three just form miles a away giant until it goes over. Beast, bro. <gasps> One day they get a software update and all Teslas just morph together into a giant <laughs> beast. It's been they a start this smashing time. buildings in LA and shit. And then like, it's, it's going to start smashing, gets to LA and goes, Yes. <laughs> oh shit, we got to charge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they go down to supercharger. Oh, we're done. And, oh, shit. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and then that's, that's all that happens. It takes 12 hours. <laughs> Like, and then we find out, like, oh, you were a villain this whole time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Let's talk about real things. Speaking of cars. Oh. Last time you came, right? We had the <laughs> olive green bands, correct? Yeah, not anymore. Uh, who's at fault? Uh, not me. Good. It's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, that car got totaled. Some dude speeding in his dad's GT63. Ooh, ripped the front end of my off. Um, Were you in love with it? I love. I like the car a lot. Yeah, but um, you know, I the thing is, like, I didn't really drive that much, and like, I had a nice car. But the thing is, like, I don't, I don't drift it. I don't like race. I don't really like even drive fast. But I'm like, I'm a commuter. You know, I get in. Yeah. I go like 85 in the fast lane yeah. and like just Standard. just go, you know, like it's yeah. fast. I'm from Illinois, <laughs> bro. Cast California fast, bro. Illinois, that's like if you're going slower than that, you're getting cut off. <laughs> like, what? Bro, most What's the speed limits there. I mean, usually they're like 70, 75, but um, Oh, so you guys are just smashing? Oh, I'm going like 90 everywhere. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's I'm like here. 90, 95. But I'm but saying like, that's pretty. That's pretty fast for the average person. I don't know. I go Fools fast. Go 70 bro. I'm, shit, I'm right? going, dog. I'm not get out my way. You know. So, um, I mean, I I like the car, but the payment and the insurance was, f- and uh, getting it registered and then insured out here was just going to be so ass. My quotes for insurance were so nuts because mm-hmm. I was already paying almost six hundred bucks a month before like I even got California insurance. Right. So you I was like. Point- what was that? Do you have any points on your driving record? No. I just... Well, actually, uh, oh. I, I think they're expired by now, so I don't have any points currently, but it's my DUI. Oh, bro, yeah. <laughs> but that's not like 
like points anymore. It matters like, much, very much. But yeah, here. I have I have stuff that impacts it for sure. I have um. That's why though. And then my even though I wasn't at fault, still um, you know I, the uh, the accident was probably gonna make my next like if I wanted to replace that car, insurance be even worse. Um, and I just I was like, man, and I went to uh, so I went to two BMW dealerships because I was gonna look at an M550. And I was like, this is pretty good. It's like a, it's like an M5, but it's like comfier. It's like a little detuned. Um, but it was still like 550 horsepower or something. And I was like, that sounds cool. You know, I'll check it out. Got in there. She had no Apple CarPlay. You had to, you had to do a subscription. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was like, bro, I'm not doing this. Like, this is crazy. I'm not paying a subscription. <laughs> you didn't Apple. get the car because of that. I didn't get the car because of that, bro. A subscription for Apple CarPlay. I'm not doing that. Are you kidding me? On a car that's already going to depreciate hella, I got to pay a subscription to use Apple CarPlay in that hoe. Do you use Apple CarPlay? Yeah, every day. Oh, I don't use it at all. I use it every day. What? It how much does the payment? It was like I think it's they charge like what twenty bucks a month. It was, Fuck it that was shit. On principle, it's on principle. Yeah. That's right. I'm a man of principles, right? I'm a man of it principles. Be and the first, eighth of so bro, over there. That the is so first, fucking expensive. <laughs> The weed, the weed is a different story. The weed is a totally different story. I, I agree with that. The weed's a totally different BMW, story. Don't try to upsell me on um, this goddamn. And Apple that was the Apple. second dealership I went to because the first one I went in, right? <laughs> and uh, I had an appointment at 3.30, okay? With a dude named Bob. Fuck you, Bob, Bob if you're out there. Um, and Bob was like, oh, yeah, uh, I'll be right back, right? You know, I'm just helping a customer real quick. So I wait for 30 minutes, right? Past the appointment. The car was like it was an amazing deal that they had listed, right? And it was it was nice. So I was like, okay, I'll go check it out. Um, I waited for like thirty minutes. He comes back, car sold. He sold to that person. I don't know who he sold it to, but he was like, oh yeah, that car sold earlier. Like, but I could show you this. I was like, all right, bro. Like, so I left there. I went to the next BMW dealership. Then they showed me a bucket that I had to pay a subscription for Apple CarPlay. I'm not, I'm not doing that. So I left the dealership and I was like, you know what? No, it's a bucket. I'll figure, I'll figure, I'll figure something out. And we were about to drive past a Toyota dealership, and I was saying in the car, I was like, what if I just bought like a like a chill car and just got it over with? What yeah. if I just bought a commuter car? And we were driving past Toyota, and I was like pulling that. And um, I went in there. I was like, I want a brand new car. I want whatever the like most chill option you got. I don't want an SUV. I just want you know. What's the cheapest shit, right? So they showed the me a Corolla. <laughs> I love it. They're just like, yo, this guy's ready to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Um, so they showed me a Corolla and they showed me like the, the LE. I got the top trim level because it had like the safety features, like the extra shit. So my car, it has like the lane assist and the automatic cruise control. Wow. So on the highway, I just put my hand on the wheel and it just drives. Like I don't really even turn the wheel. It, it does all that for me. I turned me. that off of my car. I no, like, I, I don't want that my car shit. moving by itself. It's Fuck. really good, though. It's That's really, what it does? It's really good, yeah. How long did it take till you trusted it? And okay. like, a couple hundred miles. And I was in there, you know, not yeah. that long. Oh, also, these um, are the, the gold papers. These are the, oh, the, the thin, thin ethereal ones. or whatever? Yes, yeah, uh, so I haven't tried them. I haven't tried these either. I'm very intrigued now. Yeah. Um. So, hold on, real quick. Mm -hmm. Speaking of things... Mm -hmm. You text me. Let me set this story up, then you take it away. You text me the other day. A certain company, I won't say, a certain company I've been doing a campaign for. We're about to finish the company's campaign for this promo Nick was doing. Mm -hmm. And he goes, these motherfuckers just PayPal <laughs> reversed the payment charge on me. Charge back me. Oh, charge yeah. back after he's already doing the videos. Charge back on him after he's done. On the deposit? Which or the whole is thing? crazy. Whole thing. Crazy. Ooh. Yeah, so... So what you do, Nick? Listen, What'd man. you do? You text well, me and I wait. First, let me explain the story a little bit. Why would you like Let this? me give a little backstory, bro, because it makes it sound... It makes it even crazier when you learn the details, right? So um, they had emailed me two days prior to the chargeback, and it went to my spam because they didn't reply to the original thread. They started a new one, right? It went to my spam. I didn't see their email. The next email I got after that was in the original thread, and it was them, them telling me about the chargeback. So I was like, what the fuck? I didn't, like, I, I went, and I looked, because they were like, oh, like, you haven't responded. So I went, and I looked at my spam, and that's when I saw the email. Normally, I just get hoopla on my spam. I check that once a week. I just go in there, type in Goblin. If there's nothing, I'm out. Hoopla. You know? I haven't heard that. I'm not scrolling that really? shit. Yeah. Um, but, uh. It's a good idea. So they emailed me. They charged back me. 
But they said they still wanted to book a video for the next month. Can we pay you with the money that we paid? That's what I'm saying. So I'm like, I said to them, I was like, why would you not just like ask? Like if, if it's really like, if you have a problem with like whatever happened this month, like why would you not just book next month? Like you, why would you not just use that money for next month? Like, or just email me and ask for a refund. They never asked for a refund either. They just charged back me. Um, which, as you know, you know, your PayPal, that's a lot worse than just like, that's a lot more than just the money. Right, that can get you limited. That can get your like. I don't use PayPal no more. Lower. Oh yeah, they're just dicks. Use Zelle. I mean, I tried to, but they insisted on PayPal, and I was got like, you. Okay, That's yeah. so they could do that. <laughs> they don't use Zelle with you. I've never been paid by that company. Oh. I did a video with them like five years ago, just because like oh, I'll do a video. I'm gonna start doing YouTube, and that's why I just made a video just to just to make it. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't know. So they um. I was pissed, bro. I was so heated. I, like, couldn't believe it. Because um, I was like, dude, why would you not, like, try to work something out with me? You know, like, you could... If, you, if you're telling me, like, oh, we want to book a video next month, you're just going to PayPal me again and, like, pay fees and, like, do all that shit again? So annoying. Seriously? You, you know? Yeah, what are you talking about? Um, so I was like, fuck this shit, bro. Uh, and they said some snarky... They said some, like, really snarky... They were like, it's nothing personal, just business. And I'm like... They said that in the email, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what are these guys on, dude? Um, so I was like, fuck it, bro. And I, I went to their, like, what? website, and I realized I didn't have the .com of their brand, and I'm not going to say it, but I bought it, and I made a redirect to my shit. <laughs> and then... Um, <laughs> I was in my dining room, and you texted me, and went, do it. Yeah, That's you, funny. You know the site. Have you, have you checked the... No. You are check it out. Check it out. No, did they respond to that at all? Oh yes, yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, they talked to you? Hold yeah, on, hold on. Right. You haven't told me anything else. Hold on, let's see. You bastard. Only yes. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well played. <laughs> I mean, the shit was getting like 200 hits a day. Mm. I was like, that's good, bro. Oh, like, okay. One of those months. So it's merch. a big company. Um, not really, but this URL was really good. Oh, okay. Like, this URL for some, like, I feel like I could. Are you? This, you, know? <laughs> you probably saw that. Before. The second I did it, it was straight to it. You know how to, I, I'm so unsavvy. You know how to do that? Yeah. Redirect it? Yeah. Epic. See, this is what happens when you know how to do computer And you can shit. put a tracker on so you can see how much is coming through that. No, you're gonna try to like charge. Bro, I got hella shit, uh, shit set up for the only gas like back end. I have hella shit That's set up. That's cool. Bro. Yep. So hold on, I track everything. What happened? So I got the domain. I was like, "Hey guys, like, listen." My first response was just like, "Bro, I fucking bought your dot com." You know, com. If you want to buy it back, I want the charge back money plus what I paid for it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep it. You know, and. Um, didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah, no, was, they didn't expect that. Yeah, Why would they I not just, have gotten that I was either? Just, I don't right? know, bro. I, I, woke, I had just woke up, and I was super mad. Normally, I probably wouldn't I have bought that. the dot com. in the morning. But honestly, it was, like, really cheap, too. It wasn't, like, a ton of money. Uh, I, I leased that shit, bro. I, like, you finance the payment. You could finance of, it, bro. It's, it's like $100 a month, 0% interest. Done. Fuck yeah, I finance that bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah. I didn't pay that shit up front. I can cancel it whenever oh, I want. It's more disrespectful. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. What they say? Um, well, they um, they couldn't. They were like, we don't have the budget. Buy it back, you know. And I was just like, have the budget. You stole my money back. Where's that money? Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. They they claim that they're doing this out of like an apartment, which I don't believe because they've been around for years. Who gives a fuck if they? Yeah, are. it doesn't matter. They like, already paid. You got the promo. Yeah. They wait. I want my money back. Well, it's it's. It's like, how can you ask me to do something the following month and then take the money back this month? Like, why would you not just be like, hey, let's just use that, that next month? What? Like, that's probably not a company. And the, the other thing is, with. too, in the email that was sent to my spam, they didn't ask for a refund or they didn't mention anything about that either. What was the problem? Why did they feel like they got their end? Because fill? I didn't respond to that original email. Did like, you do the promo? I had the video done. I hadn't posted it yet. But oh, like, they were they, waiting on it. Oh, yes. Yes. 
They were for just running out of money days? on bills or some shit and just started charging. Yeah, yeah for like yes, a few yes. days, bro. But like, it's it's not even the amount of time. It's like they never communicated with me. They were never like, like, yo, like. I just think it's incredible. They never said like, yo, we need rebuttal. the video by this day. Mm-hmm. We're gonna charge back. They were just like, yeah, you know, this is for this month's. You know, like, did you put them on blast on Twitter and shit? No, no, I didn't say. Don't anything. even say their name. No, because then it's just promo they wanted in the beginning. <sighs> no, I didn't say anything about them publicly. I'm mm-hmm. still not gonna say the name. No, nope. but like, but dude, I love it. What a. Damn. What a win. You put yeah. Stizzy on blast the one time, right? Hey. That worked. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Rightfully so. Yeah. Don't be answering back. Explain. I mean, bro, I had just I had done some promo for them, and I had done a lot of free promo for them. You know, I've done a lot of stuff with a lot of different brands, I feel like, over the years, and like a lot of them are really cool. You know, I have a lot of good relationships with some cool people. But um Stizzy, I did a lot of free stuff for them for a long time. And for one video, I charged them. And they finally, like, agreed to actually, like, give me a budget. Um, Because before, like, I I had told them, like, hey, I I can't do this for free anymore. And they just kind of, like, ghosted me. And then they hit me up again. They were like, oh, okay, yeah, like, we have a budget, whatever. Um, I did the video, and they just didn't, like, they didn't pay me for months, bro. Like, months. And, like, I was, they kept giving me, it, it was one thing of, like, I, I can understand a delay if I'm just told about it. You know, yeah, like I'm totally cool with like delays and shit. Just like if I'm told up front about it. Yeah. But well, they kept updated. telling me, they kept telling me like, yo, this Friday, this Friday. And they did this shit for like four weeks, dude. And I was like, I was finally like, yo, I'm not going to have another Friday. Like <laughs> <laughs> I don't have another Friday. Like I'm, we got to get this payment. Um, it's so annoying. Like you're going to turn me into a goddamn bill collector. And they just left this. me on red at one point. Like they just left me on red. And all I said was just like, hey, could I just get a update. an update? Like an update on the payment status. And they just left it on red, bro. And I'm like, all right. Like, okay, dude. It's been months at this point. I got left on red. Um, and I think one of the frustrating parts about it is as soon as I tweeted one thing about it, I was paid 20 minutes later. It's t- in 20 fucking minutes. That's that. Should have done that for two. You literally months. texted me and went. They paid me. It was it was minutes later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You couldn't have done that anytime. I don't sooner? like that. That's lame. Yeah, super lame. That's lame. I'm not saying the whole company's lame. Just no, one hundred percent. The accountant 100%. is There's cool. People there. Yeah, they're lagging. I met cool. People I met there. a lot of cool people at Sizzy. Yeah, they're cool. But that accountant, I hope you don't work there no more. That's lame. Yeah. Come on. Marty goes through this shit all the fucking time. All it's day. so frustrating, man. God. It's so frustrating. I really, I really dislike it. I hate having to deal with like brand payments. And I, I, I really try to limit who I work with to people that I have a relationship with that I know are good for it. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I've kind of stopped like taking a lot of new people and just you got your own in. brand now. We got yeah. the permanent marker cracking, right? Yup, permanent markers cracking. We got the we, jealousy cracking. We dropped some new right? hash, you know. We oh, uh, we got the goods. We dropped uh, a whole lot of goodies. Only gas. Only gas. Uh, yeah. Only gas. Just go just to Google it. Go to. Oh, I don't want to say the other website. <laughs> it's like if you go to this other brand's website, you can find only gas. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the fact that the second I typed it, it just popped up as your Instinct. site. Yep. You can do that to sites. Yeah, that's you can buy, incredible. You can buy whatever URL you want. You, somebody can, can hack that. Nike essentially and redirect it to anything they want. Bro, I mean, if that's you insane. if you got a hold you somehow, window, if you could get in there, if you somehow got into Nike's like DNS settings, which mm-hmm. is like, that's what that is DNS. Yeah, DNS. What does that um, mean? DNS is like the settings of the web server. Got you. So whenever you buy a, a website, you buy a .com or whatever you have. Um, you have to set up the DNS settings in order to to have like the support emails attached and have like. All the, you know, all the stuff set up. No, thanks. So just went, it's really bro. easy, bro. It's literally like it's one setting in there to make a redirect like that. Really? Yeah, it's one setting. <sighs> okay, so you did that and that site popped up and that is for only gas. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Taking a moment to talk about one of our sponsors, and this is Raw Papers. As you can see, I have a ridiculous contraption on my head, but epic right now on instagram go to raw life 247 let them know dope as usual podcast sent you if you guys already don't follow raw on social media they're constantly doing giveaways constantly doing givebacks fan interaction art contests so go ahead and make sure you follow them on twitter on instagram and on youtube last week we did a 300 dollars raw box giveaway shout out to four chuck jones Shout out to you for winning the box. All you got to do is follow our Instagram and follow Raw's Instagram. We do collaborative posts. We're just trying to give back to the fans. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for smoking the brand. We appreciate it. And it's Christmas time, guys. Wouldn't this make an amazing gift? This is just cool. So go to rawauthentic.com to check out 
all items they offer. This is one of many ridiculous things. There's a frisbee with a hole in it, so you can put a joint in there and throw it to your homie. Raw, thank you for sponsoring the show. Thank you for everything. Thank you for lacing up all of our customers, all of our friends, all of our fans. Thank you so much. Once again, go to Raw Life 247 on Instagram. Let them know the Dope As Usual podcast sent you. As always, guys, thank you so much for supporting the brands that support us. Have a dope ass day. What's up, guys? Taking a moment to talk about one of our sponsors, and this is my bookie. Sunday, February 11th, is the Chiefs versus Niners Super Bowl in Las Vegas. Right now, my bookie, we have a whole new deal going on with the Dope as Usual podcast. Let's go. All new customers, my bookie right now is providing 50% match deposit. $50 minimum, $1,000 maximum. That means if you put $50 in, they will match you $25 on your first deposit. And remember, you're still betting normally. It's just with this deal, this counts as my bookie free play. Say you win $5,000 extra dollars on the side, it all goes to my bet again bet on the next thing go to the mike boogie casino go play blackjack do whatever you want if you want to take advantage of this remember at checkout on my bookie you just use dope as usual but if you click the link in the description of this video it's already there it easily click the link and it automatically goes to this landing page also just for signing up ten dollar free casino chip go try it out we hit on our first number remember use our code dope as usual and or go click the link in the description and it goes straight to it remember guys take advantage of this if you're already gambling online make sure it's my bookie and you're supporting your favorite podcast. Thank you all so much for supporting the brands that support us. Back to this episode. Speaking of being high, <laughs> he hit me up. And says, I'm going through my records. You guys paid me to do a video and we, we never did. That was seven <coughs> months ago. Oh, the, the dopest video we're supposed to do? I was talking to Claudio no. about it earlier. I'm like, you guys realize Bro. that Nick is awesome and hit us up to let us know. <laughs> you know, I owe you a video. I'm like, Oh, yeah, uh, I forgot about that shit. <laughs> because what happened was we were waiting on packaging. Like, we'll get back to them when we get this new packaging. Uh -huh. And then we just hit the ground running and forgot. Yep. So. Happens. Well, we have a new video coming out. We'll be doing some more shit. Yeah, hit me with some of your new shit, bro. Yeah, we have, I'm ready we have to a rumble. bunch of new shit. We're going to Uber it here. But Mike, he's going to Vegas after. Let's just wait to get back. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. So, Marty, can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. I have something right up your alley. Mm -hmm. or, uh, the old Nick's alley. <laughs> That sounded bad for you. you went, <laughs> I mean, wait, wait, wait. How old though? Like how old? Well, like two years old. I could still be there. I, I could still have a little like speck of it left in me. I hope not. <laughs> Here we go. Can you bring up the things I DM'd you? Oh, oh, I didn't even see these. Can yeah. you bring up the things? I, I didn't want you to see it the yet. DM. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? This shit what? is insane. You probably already seen it. What? You'll see it right I'm intrigued. Now. To the podcast or to my account? Yours. No, I'm extremely intrigued, bro. Bro, when I saw this, I went, nah, that's too fun. Don't I be don't doing know. that shit to people. So, a couple years ago when we first got, when you first came on the show, you were shit-faced. Yeah. Right? You were shit-faced, which is fun. But you were also <laughs> dabbling in drugs. Oh, Jesus. So, we'll overlay this on the screen, but I'm going to show you right now. Ready? Mm-hmm. Look at this shit. It's snortable caffeine with uh, vitamin B12 in it. This is not sponsored. I bought this because I thought it looked cool. This is grand. Think about the price point on that. What, what? I understand about cocaine, cocaine is that, is is that a good price for pretty much just a leaf that they add Clorox like, no? to. I don't know why it's so expensive or why it's so fucking kick ass. Key bump? He's hitting a key bump. <laughs> and the whole jar. Oh. <laughs> Look at that glob he put on his oh my god! You can drown Jasmine in the fucking amount of sand in this thing. Can what you see what he does? Bro, snortable. This, kid, this kid's bumping caffeine with B12 powder. Just do blow at this point. It's supposed dude. to be the legal. Co it's a company. No, Just do it's a company. This, this, point. Point. this is a company. Watch. Look what he's doing. I he's know, but like up the dollar, sticking the entire dollar in, <laughs> holding the end of the dollar. Have you ever seen that before? He's holding the end of the dollar to fill up the whole tube. I've never, I've never seen anyone do that with coke. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> he actually a whole dollar full, bro. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> At that point, bro. just do actually do cocaine. <laughs> like, bro, this is what like are you doing? The legal version. Like, if you're an addict and you have a job you got to test for, I could see people in their in their cars doing that. Did Jeez. you see him snort a whole Christ. fucking jar in three seconds? <laughs> I mean, that was a whole gram, yeah. Yes. What the fuck? I mean, how, all right, wait. How many grams of caffeine are in like a drink though? That, see, but, but that's through I, the nose. It's though, just so the, like I think it's just for the fact that you can like you can ah, rail it. Yeah. Dude, have you ever seen that? He got the jar, 
rolled up the bill, put it in there, filled up the whole 95 bill. 95 milligrams of caffeine in a cup of coffee. Oh my God. All right. Never mind. That's so how many grams? Cups of coffee up the nose. Oh my God. Oh. oh. Could that not kill you? Like, no, <laughs> milligrams. Yeah. Milligrams. So how many grams? That's a, is thousand, a, a thousand milligrams is a gram. Oh, so it's like a, a tenth of a cup of coffee. I mean, that's 10 cups of coffee snorting. Sorry. Yeah. Like you just said. Yeah. Why did it take so long for me to figure the math? <laughs> He said it in the beginning, and I went, no, no, I think it's opposite. (laughs) (laughs) I asked him for his advice. He said the answer. Sorry. Bro, have you seen that before? What? That shit? No. I knew it. it. What's the brand called? I I don't know. I don't want to even say it for people to go go Google yourself if you want to. Yeah, honestly, don't. I don't want to be providing that. No, yeah. But he didn't say that, but he's like, this is not an ad. I just want to let you guys know. Honest to God. I would not. I would, I would not, not do that. No, bro. you know what's funny though? <laughs> Vitamin B twelve and caffeine were like, oh yeah, it's the only natural. And they were like, <laughs> cocaine. Yeah, coke. Yep. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you ever do the cinnamon challenge? Oh, oh, I'm doing coke. God. You know, you know some um, oh, God. some fuck shit. So when I was uh, this is a few years ago. This is like probably like three years ago at this point. Um. I had some buddies over and we were like super fucked up and I used to have a, I think I told you when I used to have my rosin press. Yeah. The little, uh, nug smasher. Yeah. Um, we tried to squish Coke just to see what would happen. We put what like a little happened? rock in there just to like try. We were like, bro, like what if we made Coke rosin? You made yeah. crack and it started smelling. It, it was, it just flattened. Not for real, but it literally just flattened. It did nothing. It literally did. No shit. oils, no nothing. Not really. No. Like, did you eat it? A little chip. I mean, we just pulled it out and like kind of gummed it. We just like scraped yeah. like we, it was now it's like it paste. Was, it was like a extremely like thin chip, yeah. but we didn't put like a huge rock in there or anything, so we didn't want to waste it. We were scared of wasting it. We were like, remember Bro. Listerine strips? What if they had the coke? What Listerine oh, strips? Bro, I love those. They had little dude. coke ones. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, first person to invent those is rich, dude. Bro, Imagine I bet you they're already out. Those off the- bet you there's some rich guy. There's a rapper. That used to, I've heard of this before, uh-huh. that you put like heroin in vi- and mix it with visine drops. Have you ever seen people do that? I've heard heroin and visine drops? And they put it in their eyes? Would that get you fucked up? I've heard of people putting acid in their eyeballs. Oh, well, they're talking yeah, about that's, mixing like the heroin once you like boil, like boil it out Heroin and visine, like, what does the visine add to it though? I think it's so you can... So you can Drip oh, so you can eye. just drop or maybe it. Maybe it's in maybe it's just heroin in a fucking dripper. Oh no, that sounds scary. <laughs> so you don't gotta shoot it. God. It's probably so you don't gotta shoot. Did, would that work through the eye? I'm not I'm not I don't well versed in heroin. I, so. Yeah, I don't know how heroin really works. I've never Sorry. tried Heron. that shit. Where? That heroin. <laughs> that heroin. <laughs> yeah, so um uh, I don't know. Did you watch Griselda? No. Please I haven't watched God. it yet. I'm you watched it already? So yeah. Sorry. I've watched it's it. It's only good? a couple episodes. It's, it's a good? banger? Yeah. It's a, it's Yo, really we got to get good. our son on here, man. I, I reached out. I don't nah. know if, like, I didn't want to, like, you know what I mean? I just reached out. If you wanted to come on, we reached now, out. Now, you got to be ballsy. You got to just hit him up be straight out. Like, yo, so we got this this snortable caffeine. We got <laughs> fucking snortable caffeine. We're smoking dope. <laughs> smoking dope, snorting caffeine, taking bong. <laughs> we got <gasps> pounds of gas. Can we... Please. Can we rip the bomb? Yeah. Yes. yeah, please. Yes. So, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna love this damn this damn series. Bo, 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 I don't want to re- wa- give it away. There was no moment of that though. I was of course for there's it. not. Should have been right at the end. They should have ended it. Bo, 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 bo. Should I retrieve the bomb? Yeah. So we're we're putting water in one of our bongs, and Nick's like, "I'm mm. going to Vegas to glass Vegas. <laughs> I brought my sov. So the rare the rare bong rip moments coming up on Woo. the show, right? Uh, and also we have weed but nick also brought better weed than everybody has so <laughs> yeah this is what happened the guest and then we bought expensive as arowan pineapple for no reason we're just what a what a morning it's what a morning, morning right it's like, yeah, bad it's like decisions 10, 30, and then you 11 the in the morning this is our earliest episode ever i think right? it is is it really i like it wow i like doing this yeah this is this i've been getting up earlier too i've been waking up i have the sleep number mm mm-hmm. mhm so I found out oh, yeah. I have to sleep slightly tilted up. Mm-hmm. And when I'm like this, it's been a life changer. I wake up and it says 86% out of 100 rest. And I'm like, oh. oh. <laughs> so my sleep score when I started was 34. 
And now it's at 86. 34 like, is trash. Yeah, yeah. Damn, what does that mean? Good. It's just your sleep number and your and your <gasps> rhythm and how long you slept and how your heartbeat Sweet, was where going. are you getting this oh. number? The sleep number bed. It, it it calculates everything for you. It's pulling that info just off your body while yes. you're sleeping? What? Yeah. Because it has, it calculates your heartbeat. How comfy heart is rate. the bed? It's as comfortable as you want it to be. It gets harder or you softer or do whatever you want. Firmness it and it stuff on forms it. to your body. You can put a mode on that if you move. It'll fill in. Where's the, the ashtray? It'll fill in the gaps. I'm looking it up. How much? Sleep number. Oh, that's where okay. that's where All it goes right. off the rails. You should do it though, because and just do payments. I I am. Okay. Okay. Hell yeah, I'm doing payments. That's just right. too expensive. Because the mattress, together, they got the mattress and the frame, and, is and the frame expensive. is the one that moves. So you have to buy the frame also. If you took payments on that shit, I'm pretty terrified. <laughs> I don't take payments on what's <laughs> No, I'm not buying a bed like that. <laughs> it's, it's how, crazy. It's how crazy is, is this? Like, I, I've never looked at these. The mattress and the frame together was like What's almost it? like it was like eleven something. <laughs> eleven thousand. If you got, I have horrible back, back problems. Remember, I have a fucked up spine. It's like a so thing. I was like, dude, I got, uh, yeah, I gotta yeah, yeah. try. I, I mean, gotta for try. you, yeah. I was like, I gotta try. It. And the, night one, I woke up. Remember, I called you, like. I woke up with no back pain this morning because I usually wake up like, ah, and I had to like 10, 15 minutes of me like to, like get my hips out of play. Oh, I hate it. <coughs> it's like my hips are okay. It's all the muscles around are doing this. And I wake up like, like when you start twisting your shirt and then when you let go, it's just a big wrinkle. Mm -hmm. That's how my back feels when I wake up. Like, ah, but not today. Mm -hmm. I woke up fine today. <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's hit the bongs. All right, let's fucking get it. <laughs> the bed was per it's it's incredible, bro. Um, it's just too expensive. Is there a grinder around here? Yeah, it's just way too expensive, man. Thank you. No problem. Okay, let's get on to oh something else. Mm -hmm. Marty had some really good notes here, mm -hmm. and it was something I saw you post. Yeah, you for the Goblin Channel got your plaque. So it was actually for my second channel. Oh, and oh I just okay. changed the name on it. To Goblin instead of Goblin 420. You can change it? Yeah, you can change the name on it. Bro, just get the plaque on the second channel and change it to Topaziola and you have a plaque. Oh, ooh, that's genius, actually. Can we order another one yeah, for the you can get multiple. Yeah, you can get multiple. And then just change the name. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can change it after the initial order is the thing. I, oh, I, think, oh, I got my adventures one. I think one. after you lock in the name on it, you, you can only reorder copies, I think. Ah, damn it. It's got to work. Hit 100k on a different channel. There you fucking go. Yeah. Twenty more in the clip channel. You've got a plaque. Yep. Love it. There you go. Okay, so you got your clip. Oh, damn it! I was like, yo, the weed plaque for the channel. Wow. Okay, you're savvy. Well, we're redirecting websites and changing names on plaques. I gotta start <laughs> thinking, dude. Like, these are little things. I gotta start I'm thinking. Do what man. I gotta do, man. <laughs> oh my god! So you got you got it. Uh, you got your award and drop a four twenty. How'd they give you an award on four twenty channel? I have no idea. Of all bro. things, they were like, no, the four twenty. I just kind of post stream highlights and clips, so I think that's why it's the content. Yeah, it's just like chill shit on there. None of it really gets restricted. Is that it monetized? Much. Yeah, <laughs> I need to post on there more. But uh, okay, look at the Adventures of Thomas channel, the Adventures of Joel channel. It got demonetized. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, I don't cuss or smoke or anything. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. So I changed the name to The Adventures of Thomas just to get it away from Dope mm -hmm. And I re I retried for monetization. And they denied me because they said it's associated with Dope channel. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. What the fuck? They demonetized this channel recently. Mm -hmm. And the clips because they said the clips was associated with this channel. Even though the clips went on cussing and stuff like that. Bro. We just have to accept that ad revenue from YouTube is probably never, never going to happen, happen for us. Yeah. yeah. It's probably never going to happen. For it, us. It's just, I wish they would go, no, don't ask again. Cause that's, that's what, cause they always give it back at three months later. You, you can reapply now. I'm like, yeah. oh, all right, did we do something different? That's what my thing. I'm like, oh, we must have did something different. You, you continuously reapply? They always give We're it back to us. Bro, we completely stopped the cussing on the clips channel. They still deny it. They, they took it back. Oh, I never reapply. I just gave. I'm scared that when they go look at my, they're gonna channel, look at your whole channel like, again. Yeah, huh? smite this fucker. Yeah. yeah so. Um, I have a. I tell you, I have a strike from October 2019. 
That's still like on it's there? It's still on my channel. And you I can't, weren't able to take the little nothing. course or nothing? I pressed everything. It stays up there. I don't know what happened. Two months ago, it popped up and says that I can get rid of it. And then I said I'll get rid of it this month. What? It's been on there for four years. Why are they on no, your fucking ass? Four and a half years almost. Why are they on your fucking ass like that? I got I mine. Uh, my warning is gone. My warning's gone. This with, is uh, crazy. With and then I watched a, a breakdown the other day. Uh, Steve will do it. I've seen him on Instagram. I've seen mm -hmm. him. Never will really watch his stuff. I watched the the story behind Steve will do it. You yep. know, they raised his whole channel. Yeah, they, they smoked his shit. Yo, he's not even allowed back on mm -hmm. at all. Yeah, once you get like like band bands, you can't come back. What? Yeah. That is insane. You're to not me. allowed to appear on YouTube again. Like, it's kind of scary, isn't it? If, if like one channel that someone owns gets banned, Donzo. It's not so I watched this thing about him and like he didn't have any strikes just like I did when I got deleted. Because mm -hmm. I got deleted too, but Marty got it back for me after talking to YouTube. But I didn't have any strikes either. They just took him off and never gave it back. It's what was fucked. he? What was he? He wasn't doing anything insane, was he? I'm <laughs> Oh, what? What? What was he doing? Yeah, he was drinking like, I don't know. I mean, we smoke. Uh, well, yeah, but he would be like chugging four bottles of vodka and like eating two large pizzas in like five minutes or whatever. That's a like, mukbang, bro. No, but like 21 bro, and over would, mukbang. He would get <laughs> fucked up. He would say questionable things. You know, he'd have like half naked girls in the videos. You oh, know? okay. 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 Yeah. Right. So, okay. So they didn't he, mention that he, in the video. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, I don't think it should have been deleted. But like, Permanent. yeah, he, he went a little permanently yeah. banned is nuts. Perm yeah. As a person. Crazy. That's tough. Yeah, that's, that's shitty. That's super shitty. Mm -hmm. Or you feel like overdoing it for, or was he doing too much? Some would say he was doing too much. I think they overdid it. I don't, I don't, I think YouTube rules should be far looser than they are. I think if you're not promoting like, you know, real like serious harmful shit, like fucking, I don't know, bro. Like, you know, like bad shit, you know, you're not like. Copyright, like shit like that, you know, like just stuff that is actually illegal mm -hmm. shouldn't be like have you shouldn't have a problem. No. You should yeah. be allowed to to post freely and age restriction shouldn't shadow ban the video either. Like the video should still like still be recommended and like allowed to perform, you know? That's the big one. Yeah. If if they change that where age restricted videos could be recommended to adults, I'm bro, bad. Yeah. Still going bad. fine. Yeah. yeah. It just it, it they just don't get recommended at all. Yeah. The views, bro. Yep. Mm -hmm. My last two videos nuked, bro. It's so shitty. Isn't it weird? It's to so see shitty. It? I hate it, bro. Because, like, my normal like, story videos are fine, bro. It's like, oh, okay, you know, get like 100, 200K views. Like, it depends if it's a real banger, like 300K. But then, like, the age restricted ones, bro, I never, like, I rarely break 100K on those. I, oh, normally, no. It's hard. It's getting yeah. like 70 of the most. Yeah, 70. Isn't it yeah. weird? It sucks, bro. I hate well, it. What are we talking to you about? Oh, my God. They just don't recommend the content at all. And you what? go to the breakdown and the analytics and it's you see that. It's sad as shit. It's just all subs. There's no new viewers. There's it's no. Nuts, dude. But yep. like, uh, I had one video. I posted it and I like woke up to check it and I'm like, I had like 10,000 views in 10 hours. I went, what is Bro, happening? Bro, I want to delete those videos sometimes. What is happening? Like, that's not real. I just let them marinate. But and I, I let it sit. And I go, huh. They eventually catch up. Weird. People find them. No, and then it went, Then it went. but I'm like, for a whole day, it just didn't really do anything. And then, yeah, it's like it's being hidden. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. Some people, the because they do a lot of comments, they'll be like, three days late, then I get the notification. A lot of people like, unsubbed again, six time. Yep. All day, but I yeah, mean, it's, it's so YouTube. Shitty. You know, you know what I've noticed, bro? It's Twitter. Right. There's so many fucking bots that I can't hit 100k because my follow count keeps fluctuating. Mm. Oh, I didn't think about that. There's so many fucking bots. I keep going from 0.6 to 0.4 to 0.6 to 0.5 to 0.7 <sighs> to 0.5. Oh, like, I didn't know about that. Bro, I'm so tired. I thought you're talking of it. about that girl, Jessica, Rosie, the two white chicks that. Spam the two porn. Oh, oh my god! Want to see more with the blue? Want to see with the thing? I'm so fucking what tired of that brunette What you do is you bitch. press hide reply, and then once oh. it hides reply, it says do you want to block? And you press block because if you said block first, you have to go all the way back to the comment and then press hide reply. I every post I get the spam porn girls posting. If you hide it, then have people you seen like this? more have people you seen will that? see it. You know why? Because. 
It's in the hidden replies and everyone checks that shit. I it, knew it could be drama. Replies. There's a, the hidden replies aren't actually hidden. There's public. People Where? can see that shit. There's a little section. Of, what tweet did so you do? I'll stupid. show you right now. No, no, I'm saying, where did you see hidden replies? I didn't know that. It's at the uh, bottom. bottom right of the tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I have no yeah, idea. There's a section. <laughs> so it's almost like you picked well, that Well, shit. you go to every post, go to a hidden reply on there's my shit. There's just Rosie in there. It's just uh, R-O-S-Y. It's the white chick. Yeah. Do you do like the, me? Is Would that the you smash? One? Blue yes. One? Yes. God. The other but she has a different one. account a, every day. Different account every day. Same girl. Every day. Every day. Every day. And now it's a Mexican chick. It changes to a different chick. And then it went There's back a blonde to the chick. one. I don't oh, know my shit one for a bit. I had it's a blonde just like, one. Dude, I get yeah. it. You, you're a porn spam bot. But every post, <laughs> every yeah, it's, post. It's so annoying. Like, thank. Oh, this is great. This is great. Would you smash? I'm like, oh, bitch. <laughs> Want to un, unhide the picture? No. <laughs> block this hoe. Dude, if I see it's, her in person, I'm gonna. Like, oh my god! You're, god headbutt, yeah, headbutt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna have to take care of that. You're gonna have to do something. Not for real. I'm kidding. But you're gonna have Jesus. to do some shit. Every post, every post, no, no fail. Okay, I'm gonna light this up. This is the one I roll for all of us, just to pass around a little bit. All oh right, boy. So, gobcast. Let's go. Oh, hold on. Hey. Before we get into that, last time you were here, you were just about Damn. to move here, right? He is not. Hey, is that the what is that? Treasure chest. Grandpa's gun chest. Yup. And you got the toad. Oh, look at that. No, it's the Skittles Ooh. and Grandpa's gun chest crossed. <laughs> that just smells fun. <laughs> See? You get it now. Ugh. Ugh. I like it. Um last time you were here, you were about to move, right? Five. You were about to go get your stuff. Uh-huh. So now you're here. You've been here what, three, four months? Yep. So now that you're here, you've started a gobcast. It's coming. Episode one. You've done so far. We, we did uh we did like the pilot episode. Uh my friend, my good friend Kyle was out here back in November, and he's not really like the kind of guy who travels a lot or is able to. So um I was just like, yo, I know the studio's not like built out yet, but we need to film this like now. Like this has to happen. Um because he is one of the guys, he's the last surviving member of the crack smoking crew. Last surviving, the, the as other, the dead? other homie died. The other homie died. Oh, there's yeah. one other. I was like, there's one other guy. Many? There was three of us. Yeah, oh, one other guy God. died. So uh, he's the the last other surviving member of the crack will, smoking right? crew. The crack smoking crew. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> um, I, I knew I had to have him on. It was a banger. It was a great episode. Um, I'm really excited to get the Gobcast going. It's very close. It's very close. Nice. With with in February, it'll be launching. Yup, that's the plan. All right, hell yeah, good shit. So, Gobcast, uh, who besides like the obvious weed people, who are you trying to? Th- who are you thinking of getting on? What are you thinking? I know you thought about it a little bit. I Is mentioned like you direction? earlier. I really want to get Hamilton Morris on. Yeah, like drug drug um, fools. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I I really like, like ologists, maybe type. Of yeah, thing. yeah, like chemists. You know, like I, I want to get like trappers and shit. I want to get you oh, know shit. people who have been to jail for like various drug crimes and like you know I want to I want to find some duties on the run. You know, like some shit like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I want to I want to aid in the bed of criminal. Like I'm camera. gonna have I'm, I'm gonna he's, he'll have a mask on. I'm gonna have some like armed guards in my shit, bro. Like I'm not gonna fuck around. Um, <laughs> What's it called? But uh, I just, I want to do like, I don't know. I want it to really fit my content. I want it to be like some, yeah, some, some like, like real shit. Like other people's experiences with drugs. I want it to be like just an evolution of my main channel. But content. don't turn into mm-hmm. white, soft, white underbelly. Go and do crack. Oh, fuck that. Stereo. Fuck that. No, fuck like that. Today we got. Maybe one of them. Crackhead Cindy. Oh, God. Put your pants <laughs> on. Like this. Oh, you have to go on Patreon. What if she's bad though? <laughs> oh, shit. What if she's bad though? She's definitely something's wrong with her. She smoked crack lives outside. You know what? She's an entrepreneur. Good for no her. No rent? Yeah, exactly. Putting it all into her Bro, clothing business. If it all fell apart, <laughs> would you not go vibe in an RV? Like we're Bro, going. I am from, I am poor and grew up in the country in diesels. I can live on a, the floor. Bro, <laughs> I let's do go. not give a shit. Like we're living on the floor. Like I can I can sleep sleep without back so our heads don't sleep in the what was it? Uh, we sleep back to back so our heads are in the mud. That's how I sleep like uh, bubbling uh, forest, bro. Did shit. you see uh, Ken Flores' RV story on here, bro? From your local hometown, Ken Flores. Remember I was saying about I don't the think comedian? I did, but I know about Ken Flores. He's a bro. yeah. He's from my area. Yeah, he brought he was bringing me up before the show, and we talked about the show. But he used to watch his RV story. Shit Fuck out. yeah. His RV. That's story, sick. So. I'm like I'm glad you didn't bump into each other because he's wild. 
What was he saying, bro? <laughs> I don't want to give it all away. Okay. You need to just go watch the clip. Okay. Let's just say three million meth views. hookers RV. Ooh. What you know those nights when you wake Ooh. like he when he described it, I was like, uh, uh, the title of the video is first time trying meth and hookers. <laughs> but bro, this is the thing is like, you know this feeling like, it's six in the morning, people are probably passing out. I still feel like the drugs, but they probably weren't clean, so I feel like my skin's like oily. I'm kind of sticky from sweating and smoking and drinking all night. But now like the sun's coming up and I can hear birds and I'm like. Ooh, God, I got kind of a chill. I, I'm a, tr- I'm a fucking addict. Like that feeling of like, ugh. it's gross, dude. Ugh. It's disgusting. I feel like a feel like it's a slime that you can go. Whack. The addict's slime. Oh, so when he was describing, I'm like, <laughs> oh God, oh, I hate that feeling of like regret. Like, why am I Did doing like these drugs? This? Yes. Yeah, he talked about the moment of clarity in the middle of it all. Why am I here? Well, I told you right before he even said, and then I laid down and went sobered up because I knew I'm like, if that was me and I laid on the bed, it went, Ugh, the sun, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I was raised by a fucking parent. <laughs> what am I doing? And you got to watch it, bro. It's disgusting. You're going to love it. Fuck it, yeah. But in the best way possible. So we got to link you guys up when he goes to the hometown show. And if you're home, that would be, uh-huh. I went to a show uh, recently, his live show. Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. Like it is wrong. It's great. It's right up your alley. Thank you. He's a fool, dude. Uh, think about this. What I thought of this question earlier. I watched this new Swamp Stories on Diddy that came out today. He did Swamp a, Stories. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. He did a documentary on Diddy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and by the end of this documentary, I'm like, damn, Diddy's the biggest degenerate of all time. If this is true, Diddy's a crazy motherfucker. If half of this shit is, if any of this shit is true, he's. <laughs> He's up there. And he's my first favorite rapper, so this kind of breaks my heart. Bro, what was the... Oh, my God. I saw some crazy shit about him recently. I feel like I've just been seeing a bunch of news articles about him doing crazy shit like yeah. in the past. Like, yeah. It's all unraveling. These documentary what? dudes on YouTube are starting to piece this all together since the... And he started off with Andre Harrell from Uptown Records. I almost signed a record deal with Andre Harrell. We used to do Blaze Track video messages back and forth and shit. And he's wrapped up in this. On the oh, documentary. Oh, oh <laughs> Marty, Marty, Marty. Huh? Hey, God, he juked that one. Huh, Marty, you, yeah, you left the music industry for the podcast. Is thing. Marty's name on the Diddy list? Oh. Mar- no, I think Marty was like, oh. went, what? And no, I spit nice. himself out of that room is what happened. I, know, I, I was trying my damnness to get a record deal. They fucking... You can't get on the like those blue list. eyes. <laughs> We're not into the blue eyes, Marty. You're I, lucky. Didn't realize, I had no idea all this type of shit was like existed. Like, I almost signed like, with uh, that man. In horror movie, if you get into this shit, but my question—you oh, would have been a very different man today. <laughs> uh, oh, who comes to mind when you think of the big, the greatest, or the biggest degenerate of all time? The biggest degenerate? <laughs> oh wow! Well, that's very subjective, you know. From <coughs> from <I> Goblin. <laughs> wow. Okay. I mean. My Uncle Glenn's pretty up there. Oh. <laughs> Uncle Glenn is pretty fucking Holy up there. Holy shit. I did not expect anything to do with... I know this man personally. <laughs> Uncle Glenn's up there. I was putting this down. I was looking at the screen. Like the, like the little picture. I'm like, oh, that's nice. My Uncle Glenn. Oof, I felt it. Like pretty I, up there. I knew everything about Glenn when he said that. What type of glasses does he wear? Brown ones? I don't think he has glasses. Damn, I was way off. He um, <laughs> usually he doesn't oh, come oh, to the family yeah. gatherings. He's not invited because he he like sells oxys all day for hey, to hey. like pay his shit. And Entrepreneur. He, Does he do them all day? Oh, so he's drug addict. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. he's a functioning businessman not, too. If no, he's he selling. Like, he, give him a little credit, Uncle Glenn. He he's not really doing that anymore. He's like too old now. He's like fucked up, but he's still just popping them like shitload but he's always just been like i think he does a lot more than i'm aware of gotcha you know or like, did I've a never, lot more than i've never heard. been close enough with him to really know like all the shit he does but like if i from what i know about him i'm fully aware and like confident that like yeah he had, 
He's popping hella fucking opiates, you know. Like, Let's go. Damn, he's like, maybe he's sipping lean. That'd be crazy. <laughs> oh, that's he's Uncle Glenn. Like, yeah. <laughs> you. you have Uncle Glenn, he listens to Hank Williams and sips lean. <laughs> <laughs> One of the greatest hits of Johnny Cash and poured uh, two ounces in a Sprite. <laughs> Cranberry Sprite because he's heady. <laughs> Elvis in a double cut. Elvis in a double cut. <laughs> oh, I like that. Damn, you topped this bowl. Who the max? This is what you would call the little steel. We brain. getting high. Ooh. What? We getting high. Oh, Dude, yeah. This is packed. All right, here we go. Oh. Hold on. This is a little trick, guys. If you didn't know, you can transfer lighter fluid just by holding What? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is so sick. I'm going to siphon it out. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <sighs> now, uh, who made the top 2023 list? Uh, the weed list I did? Yeah. Bro, so the uh, the GMO that I brought right here actually oh, was shit. up there. I really like this a lot. Here we go. Um, that shit was smoking. Uh, it's like a little old now. You know, it's like a month old now, but... Mm. Still very fine, you know. It's yeah, funky, yeah. sir. It's oh, funky, of course. Oh, oh, oh. Um, here you go. <coughs> nice follow up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <coughs> the toad was a good honorable mention. The Starburst Thirty Six from Seven Ten Labs was my favorite flower, probably like overall all year. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> just because that shit was crazy as hell at the price point too. It was like <coughs> ten bucks a gram. It was like two eighty for the zip. Um, and it, <coughs> they deliver it to you, and it was the best batch of Starburst I ever smoked. It was I never so tried good. a Starburst weed strain, bro. Uh -uh. You're sleeping so hard, Narco <laughs> narcoleptic. No, so here's the thing: you would think Starburst is like some bullshit candy terps, right? I'm I'm down to try. It. What the fuck? It's but you, you would probably think it's just some candy, right? Yes, it's for sure. not, bro. It's gas. Really? It's gas, yeah. Oh, really? it, it's very gassy. Um, the Seven Ten Labs Starburst. Oh is what shit! I, yeah, mm. their new flower is really good, dude. I haven't tried this shit um, in a long time. It fucking. Uh, what was I gonna say? I think they got like a new grower or some shit. So they've been they've been crushing it. <coughs> but damn it, I just had a question in my head and I got high and I forgot it. It was something. Yeah, I've been important. high the whole time and like <laughs> I feel like I've had to think so hard to answer the most simple questions. You know? And what was like, it? It was so, something. My first smoke of the day was that bone rip right before we started the episode. I had smoked anything else all morning. Fuck! It was something. Marty, you want to rip? Sure. Damn it, guys! No, has how's things been with your mom since you moved out here? My mom? Yeah. It's been good. Um, I got to go visit her. I didn't really get a chance to come back for the holidays because we were just, just doing moved. a lot of shit, you know, just moved, trying to get settled in. Um, Last time we talked, I think you guys were not in like a good place. Or is that not right? No, we were good. We've been good for a while. I mean, honestly, since I moved out, me and my mom have been chilling, oh, nice. you know. Um, it was just before I moved out, me and my mom were not, not great. But no, um, like since I moved out of her place like years ago, we've been good. She's much happier now that I'm, I've gotten the hell out of there. Good. Yeah. Damn it, Marty. I can't remember what the hell I was going to say. I had it, and I went, oh, yeah, we'll talk about that. I forgot completely, but it's, right. okay. it's okay. It's um, okay. Where are we at with you. your dad again? Where is he's no, right? I haven't spoken to that dude in years. He just flexed on his dad recently. Like, that, that was a <coughs> yeah, that was a couple of years ago. Then that was the last time you talked to him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like two years ago. Ooh. Two years ago. Back for the second hit. Disgust. Here we go. So, real quick, mm -hmm. I uh, I just became aware. Uh huh. There's a company. I don't even know the name of the company. I try to find out, but I don't. I can't find the information. I found information on a different company. Okay. So there's a guy. He went on a podcast, and I heard so much backlash about it, but I didn't know who the person was, so I had to look into it. Okay. This is a while back. There's a like an ex. DEA agent that owns a weed company. What? Yeah, he's an ex DEA agent. And he is responsible for like putting a lot of food, in, obviously, in fucking jail for this shit. And now he owns a weed company. And I posted about it. Like, yo, I posted about it recently because somebody brought it up. And I go, oh, yeah. There's a fuck. Oh, so what it is is the owner, one of the owners of the woods is like an ex sheriff. 
That that smoke lounge and I went. Oh, okay. <coughs> huh? Nah, I don't know about that. I don't like that. If you're arresting people for weed, you should not be able to make money off. But hold on, is a sheriff out here arresting people for weed? That's what I'm saying. Like I don't know about the woods guy. Uh huh. But I heard about the other person. The reason why I even brought it up on Twitter is because somebody brought up the Woods guy and went, whoa, what about that other guy? He owned a company. Who's who's the other one that's... So okay, I don't know the like, name of it, but he's an ex-DEA agent. And he went on First Smoke of the Day, which is a sick podcast. I went on there before. Yeah. And apparently they got hella backlash about it for like bringing on a guy. I mean, obviously he's telling a story. Mm-hmm. Their podcast is what they're supposed to do. I get it. But this guy's a DEA agent, ex DEA agent, I believe, that's now owning a cannabis company mm-hmm. that's in stores. So I'm not like sitting here trying to get like a this fool to get mad at me, but I think that's lame. I don't yeah, think you should be lame. able to do that. Be a silent partner so no one knows that it's mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. because you're not going to be accepted. Oh, yeah. he's like being the face of it. Yeah, he's yeah, like he's not going to work. Bro. About, talked about his own pot about his own company. Yeah. And the story behind him being a DA agent, and I posted on Twitter, so I want to get your opinion. I posted on Twitter, mm-hmm. and I had like people go, "Yeah, I, I agree. That's not that's not right. It's hypocritical." And a lot of people are like, "What? People can't change their ways and notice that and see that the plant is like a good thing." Yes, you can, Absolutely. but then you want to go profit off it. It's fucking nuts. Yeah. So how do you feel about this? I feel just my opinion. Mm-hmm. There's no room for them. Yeah, I think I think it's not right. I think um, I don't think so. if you've profited off putting people doing what you do now in jail, like you can't now profit off doing the same thing. I think it's lame. You can't ruin people's lives because they sold weed and then sell weed. You can't go like, damn, this eighth <clears throat> is fire. There's a guy in prison because of these people. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> that's still in jail because of these people. Now they're like, well, we have the COA. Yeah. Fuck them. I don't know about you, that man. That ain't right, bro. You should that's step not, away that's from not the okay, company. dude. For real, because me as a person, I will never support anything like that. Can't. It's Just because right. it's not right. It's, it's hard fuck, to it's know. Messed like, up, how man. would you really know? I mean, He went on a podcast. Still... You should have shut up about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he shouldn't have never Nobody told nobody, bro. He should have shut up and just run his company because now people know. But then again, I don't know the name of the company. So it's not like it's mess. But then again, I'm dumb. I don't remember anything about people's stuff. I don't pay attention to the weed industry like that. Mm-hmm. I get first smoke. I get a lot of updates from first smoke of the day, yeah. actually, because they interview a lot of sick people. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I just want to get your guys' opinion. I think that was crazy. Yeah, that's, I, I don't think that's right at all. The episode got a lot of backlash. That's all I kept seeing was people telling me, like, dang, I got a lot of backlash. Like, look at this fucking pain. I'm like, they just like, what, uh, like you want me to comment that they should have done it, bro? That's they take show. it down or do they? Huh? Do they take that episode down or is it still up? I don't know. That guy probably should. Ask he should have down. Like, he shouldn't have said anything. Yeah. yeah, he shouldn't have gone on, but he shouldn't have ever gone on that shit. Unless, and then I like, met a man that really turned opened my eyes to the plant, and then I grew for twenty years. And but I don't give a shit. Unless he was like some advocate this whole time from the inside, who Thank was you. pulling strings. If Thank it was you. that whole, but story. also you know what you should do: take ten percent of your company and employ a bunch of people that you put in prison and let them be owners of the company. Yeah. If it's really about the plant, if it's not. About Sounds like a monetary beneficiary, personal monetary gain. I was trying to use all the biggest words so these policemen understand. <laughs> but yeah, that shit's crazy to me. Let's, uh, it's your hit. Yeah. Oh, it's yours. All right. Rip it. 10 um, 4. Have you watched the episode of the Jake Johnson's podcast we're about to go on? Yeah. What? So, uh, how do they rock it? Like, I know they have Collins. We're about to go in a couple of days, do this other. Podcast. They do college, and they when you call in, and it's they so try to fire. give you advice. It's literally it. I really, mm, it's dude, great. It's, I like it. That's the that's the whole show. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. it's like thirty minutes. It's oh, great. Okay, I love it. It's a cool formula. So your formula, you're gonna, uh, uh, what do you say? Interview a bunch of degenerates and drug dealers and people that have been to jail for drug shit. I know a lot of them. I need to talk to them. Yes, I know a lot of them, but yeah, like, I need to talk to them. I'm now the Yo, I know a shitload. I need to just find a few dudes that like still live in the hood in a few cities, you know, and just be like, yo, fucking call your homies, you know, I need something, right? We could get all sorts of different characters, but I think, you know, it's mainly going to be about just getting people's stories about like their experience with with drugs you know and people most impacted by that you know here's a little thing i was thinking 
how are you going to do it? Like person to person talking? I mean, probably, yeah. So I was just thinking when it comes to stories, and it's going to be mainly about their hard hitting, insane stories. I really like the way Vlad is focused on the person. I like the way soft, why underbelly is focused on the person, mm-hmm. but nobody's done a, like a, not like a newscast, but like, I was thinking, uh, you ever seen Matilda? Of course. Remember when uh, all the kids are like going through their head, oh, hurry up, and it's like floating in between. You can see the kids coming in, like their faces coming down. Mm -hmm. What if you were just like floating in the screen as like a head? (laughs) Picture in picture. Picture in picture. Hey. But not a picture in picture. Like the the sides are always black, like soft white underbelly or something, Uh or the deep, and then you can just see. That would be sick. floating. (laughs) So tell me about your first time. It's almost like a therapy session. That would be With this dude just... Here's the square. The guy's focused That'd be looking super at you. Super sick. But the camera's on you, and you're you're just kind of like in it. Mm-hmm. Not like a square because that's just a little just like a, a little uh, yeah. circle that's like fading around okay, the edges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Like a therapist. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I was just imagining like, and there'll be like a little twinkle uh, when I come in. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> tell me about the time you tried crack. <laughs> so, what about the fifth time you went to prison for crack? <laughs> As you floated it down. <laughs> I think you could lead people down a very unique oh, path for with sure. Stories and, oh, yeah. yeah. Just, just be like, oh, this guy did crack too? Nah, I'm going to tell you some stories, man. I think you get some good fools. Yeah, I think, I mean, there's a lot of people from like different walks of life that do drugs. There's a lot of people that are impacted different ways. As long as they got a good story, you know, they got some fun shit, I'm game. You know, I love it. Now I saw you had two different of your vehicles stolen by tweakers. Maybe you could interview. What, guys. bro? <laughs> I, I told you what happened to my old Mercedes, right? No. And the Volvo tweakers squatted my old house and fucking stole it. They towed you it out of my told driveway. Me none of this. I never told you this. <laughs> Wait, oh you my. moved out here? No, no, no. So, so, all right. When I lived in Illinois still, uh, back when I still lived in Springfield, what is happening? shitty <laughs> shitty old like crib, right? Um, I had moved back up closer to Chicago, and then I moved to L.A., right? Oh, so I this was, this oh, was yes, two places, places right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So this is two places before right now, right? So when I was living down in, uh, in Springfield, Illinois, um, I had two cars that were like kind of broken down. I didn't really like have the money to fix them that at that time, you know. Uh, and I had a bunch of furniture that I didn't really want to pay a mover to like move anywhere yet. The rent was so cheap there that it made more sense like to just pay the rent and use that place as a storage unit. So I was like, "Fuck it." I was paying a thousand dollars a month for a three bedroom house. I had hella shit in there. Whoa! So it was like all the shit I have in here. Like, fuck it. I'll just you know I'll pay the rent for like an extra month or two. You know, figured out. Ended up becoming an extra like three or four months because it was like, I don't want to go down there and deal with this yet. Mm-hmm. I'll just pay rent oh, again. Oh, God, I don't you know? the shit there. Oh, yeah. It's over. So um, oh. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't realize Tweakers kicked the back door in and uh, just started living there. And they like stole power from the power lines. They like wired it up to the house. And they just took like everything. They towed both of my cars out. They took all your shit? They pretty much, but I had taken most of my uh, like really important stuff out. There wasn't really anything that I was like, like oh man. There was one thing. There was one thing. Um, my my old rosin press, the Nug Smasher. Mm-hmm. Oh. The one that's the one thing they took. Where I was like, man. Wait, they stole it all. Yeah, everything. And then lives there. Yeah, they lived there and then so they, they, and they took the it. furniture out and then just lived in an empty house. They like slowly, I guess, emptied it out or whatever. Like towed the cars, places, shit. Is and there then just neighbors left. or is this out in the country or something? There's shit. neighbors. They didn't notice? Well, the neighbors just... to the right smoked meth, and the neighbors to the oh. left hated me. So, oh. Yeah. <laughs> they were That sounds like Merced. These fools hate me. The, the way I high. found out is because they... So the neighbor uh, talked to my landlord, who was the old like, the girl who lived there, and she hit up my landlord one day, and she's like, hey, like, what's up with the new people living there? They're uh, <laughs> stealing power. And she's like, what? <laughs> And, like, she never came to inspect the crib one time. We didn't have an active lease or anything. We had, like, no type of, of any that shit. Uh, it, it, it wasn't even, like, a verbal agreement. It was just, like, I'll pay you some money. You know, like, here, like, we in that bitch. Like, it wasn't even, Chicago. we didn't even have an agreement, like, oh, tell me this much in advance. Like, nothing. The the lease had expired, like, two years prior, and it was just, like. Nick just squatted there from a lady that said <laughs> I was that, just said that she lived there. I was just squatting pretty much, bro. Damn near. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah give me money yeah you live here yeah yeah pretty much pretty much um so 
she hit me up and she's like, you got to go down there and get them out. And I'm like, dude, we have no lease. I'm not doing that. Like, <laughs> nope, that's not my problem. They already stole my stuff. Um, yeah, they, my stuff's already gone. There's nothing to fight for. You know, like, I'm not dealing with that. And she was like, trying to get me. I just blocked her. <laughs> blocked your landlord? Oh, she wasn't my landlord anymore. I had an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> You need to go get these people out. <laughs> Bro, how is that my responsibility? It's your house. Call the police. Yeah, totally. Like, what? I think she was like, yo, you're renting it from me. Why the fuck did you let people? I actually don't even live there, lady. I just use it as storage. What the fuck? That's what she's thinking. Well, the thing is, too, I mean, I, it wasn't like I just abandoned it. Like, I had popped in, you know? I popped in. I popped in, you know? But, <laughs> like, like, for a few months, I didn't. I was busy. But, like, at, when I moved... Months? Yeah, oh, they were really but for sure tweakers there. live there. They I had mean, a whole bro, football season. Is this a regular neighborhood or is this like a tweaked out? The whole town was fucked except for one corner of it. So, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. But I just wasn't expecting that. They kicked the back door in and just moved in. Um, and also she like, she was fully aware that I wasn't really there. Like to begin with, I wasn't really like there that much because I was already traveling a lot when I lived there. And then when I moved up north, like I'm pretty sure she knew about that too. So like, oh, yeah. I don't think it's like she was like, what? Like, you know, I, but not my problem either way, yeah. bro. I'm not fucking walking in the house and being like, all right, guys, yeah. you have to leave. Like, <laughs> what? Yo, so. So what happened to your cars? They just took them, bro. They towed them away. I don't know. You never got them? Well, what am I supposed to do? Call the DMV? Like, they stole these. Or, or can you, have you guys found them? Here's the them? problem, though. They were never registered to me because oh, so they my, were just my L's was suspended. They were beaters. My L's was suspended. Um, and I bought those and I was, I was driving around with plates that weren't mine. I would just switch them between cars and I didn't have a license. I didn't have registration. I didn't have insurance. You were a few different drugs away from being a, dr a full on regular ass drug addict. <laughs> You're over yeah. here going, no, these cars don't work. I lost my license. I just switched the plates on them, man. <laughs> Fuck, let's go get some coke. Like, oh my god! <laughs> I was living different. My car now, I swear it's registered to me. Oh I, I swear. <laughs> and it's insured. I swear. She's like, I'm just, I'm just renting to this kid. He He's does so, drugs. He looks so nice. <laughs> so also, what if meth <coughs> is like the limitless pill? I'd smoke it. Pop because it. all of them <laughs> seem to know how to rewire electricity. Mm. Yeah. Do you know how to rewire right, wait, electricity? Though, do they actually know? Or how like, many tweakers do you know can fix a fucking engine with no shirt on, just in the sun? A lot. How many do you know they can rewire <coughs> electricity? It gives you like vocational oh, skills. They, I know. Yeah, a lot. there you go. Smoke I know meth. a lot that sure as hell will <laughs> try. Like, it's a two year jump. <laughs> I know a lot that'll try. Yeah, are oh. they actually actually like? I don't know if they actually succeed, like, but I know a lot. How many? How it, many yeah. tweakers steal power? All, all of them. Well, mm, yeah. Okay. So, do you know how to steal power? I don't. I don't know. So, no, it's just, just like, like, hmm. All right, I can see those lines inside. <laughs> yeah. so I, I have no those, idea how to do that. Right. <laughs> what if it is the limitless pill slash vocational? Bro, skills, you know what I'm right? thinking? My internet was on auto pay for a few months. So I'm thinking they might have just been using my internet or some shit. For sure. Mm, fuck. And you, do you know how to steal internet? For, like the box. All these fools are geniuses. Yeah, and there's people out there going. They're crafty, the bro. These guys are crafty. They have survival skills that like we don't have. If the apocalypse hits, <laughs> that's them. They're gonna win. If and they get a gun, it's over, bro. The thing mm. is, if the apocalypse hits and you see tweakers, the Shoot only thing that changes sight. is the background because they're gonna look exactly the same in the apocalypse as they do right now. Because those fools could live off of nothing <laughs> and just a Pepsi. Yep, <laughs> a Pepsi, crazy, a dude. Pepsi, Sigs. one jacket, and a pack of new ones. One jacket, yep. shoes, kind of. <laughs> shoes. They're fucking flopping. They can wear the same pair for 20 years and a pack of new ports. As long as the bottoms are on the shoes, they'll figure it out. Thank you. As long as there's bottoms on those. That's what I'm trying <laughs> to say. So, look, the reason I say that is because there's a lot of fools in Merced that, like, build uh, here, too, that build mountains on top of carts. Uh huh. And they're just, tr they're like the baby carts in the back. Yep. Have you seen the engineering? Bro, it's incredible how they integrity. get it to balance sometimes. Architects. It's amazing. You're right. Meth is a vocation. It, it <laughs> depends on what vocational <laughs> thing that's going to give you. <laughs> I like that. Bro, there was a guy I saw who, who had like wood on like a shopping cart and he had like a spot for like his bike. Like he had like a little bike rack on his cart, bro. Oh. And he had. <laughs> All you got is time yeah. to trick out your shit, right? Dude, like, they're pimping out yeah. there. That's pimp my ride. Like, yeah. how sick is your cart? And you there's know? a guy that 
thinks he's exhibit out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yo, dog. Yeah, there's got to be a dude with the sickest card of all. Like, he pulls up and they're like, damn, bro, that shit's there is. foreign. That's a foreign. <laughs> <laughs> yo, when I first moved to L.A., near downtown, if you're if you're from L.A., tell me what street because I know you remember. Rosie and I just moved here. It was like a two months in. Mm-hmm. And we were driving. No, it was like a year in. It was like a year in because mm-hmm. we didn't have a car when we first got here. We were driving under a freeway right downtown. And I swear on my life, Marty, this man underneath the freeway mm-hmm. had a whole convenience store. Oh. Remember I told you he had like the I metal shelves? No, no, I'm good. Oh. But <laughs> it was it did look like a store. There was like five of each thing on shelves. Mm. One shelf mm-hmm. that was like four yeah. rows. Like craft another services. shelf that was like four rows. Then he had like a bed, a sick cover over it, and a TV. Pro, he's he's living. Like a mini toothpaste. House. That guy's uh, living. A bunch of razors, it's like, like Airbnb. cans. It, it that really guy's works. raving. Bro, he's, it he's was living. unreal. And then somebody else lives in LA. There was one guy. That I wonder had if like he's got like an address beds. and reviews on like Google Get Maps. The fuck out of you here. can pull up to his store. Ghost <laughs> Kitchen. <laughs> you can <laughs> Uber eat. Ghost Seven <laughs> Eleven. Oh, I'll be. 712. Mm. 7247 7, 7 for the past 30 <laughs> years. I'm on drugs. <laughs> no, the guy had a nice spot. Mm-hmm. Like he had sheet on his bed. Just on the sidewalk. On the fucking sidewalk, yeah. guys. I Under an overpass. They're making mini homes. Was the I'm TV like, was like the on? The TV was on. No, had to, it had to have been in like, like, an, like a generator. Honestly, fuck all of this shit. I'm I'm gonna tap out and do that. <laughs> this I'm is gonna, the episode. I'm just gonna Nick pop up quits. a smoke shop under a bridge. He's gonna stream. Yeah, he's gonna stream from inside the RV. Yep, run it and just drive around. You know what? I'm moving to like Montana. Oh man, you'll just do too good there. You'll do too good there. Like oh. Fuck, I started, I got some land for 17 cents a foot. Dude. Like, here we go. I started an actual uh, Walmart Super Center. I'm a millionaire. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I am going to build Super. everything on my property, dude. I'm going to buy, gonna be sick. I'm going to buy 100 acres of land. We're going to, we're going to build a Costco on that bitch. For nobody? Just for me. Personally. Yeah, just, just, just for, for you. Me. Like, in case just the Armageddon me. happens. I just want the kitchen part, bro. I need the fucking, yeah, if the Armageddon happens, I'm locking myself in Costco. Give me the chicken bake. Give me the fucking... <laughs> bro, the chicken bake is it. Chicken bake. How do you feel about the chicken bake? You're talking to a vegetarian. I'm... Fuck! I know. I'm sorry. It's I used great. to smash them. It was all... Bro. bro. Chicken bakes were my oh. shit. Chicken bakes are... Ah! Chicken is there like a Is there like a vegan replacement for that? Is there like anything similar to that? I don't know. Fuck. I have no idea. You, you, you have not ripped that. Oh, Ooh, that's how I know you're high. My bad, Yo, my we bad. Flew through. Here's some more joints. Here's Ooh. some more joints. Ooh. Here you want to tell everybody about the guest we just booked? Coming in for the end of the month? Coming in real, real Oh, high. yeah, we got Mexican OT finally booked in. Super stoked. Next week we have, uh, uh, also we have Gata. Gata coming in. I, I watched Dave. I think Dave, uh, Dave, the show is hilarious. Check us out. Smoke that. David Cho. Oh, thank you. Not David Cho. Dave. What is this? Dave, oh, Dickie. Dave Cho. Little Dicky. It's a Zodix. Zodix. Yeah. Why is it pink? It's a pink paper. Blazy Susan. It's pretty. I think it is Blazy Susan. That or a, or a pink element. Ah. Yeah. Very nice. All right, here we go. Let's smoke it up. So, dude, what are your plans? What's going on with you right now? We just talked about a bunch of random shit right content, now. Content, man. I've been uh, I've been making a lot of videos. Uh, got some fun stuff for Pine Park coming up this year. Yeah. You know, just uh, expanding into some different states over there. You know, selling some weed in the rec market. Um, so, if, if, in case anybody didn't see your last episode, explain a little more what you're doing with Pine Park since you moved out here. Um, so, since I moved out here, I, I host the Pine Park podcast, but I'm also a part owner of the brand. We, um, yeah. Yeah, like the the whole brand, the yeah. weed, you know, the whole thing. Um, so we uh, currently we're in California, Oklahoma, and Michigan dispensaries, but we're planning to go to some new states this year. I don't think I can say which um, ones, like necessarily very many, but we're coming to some new states that are really exciting, some popping states. Good so shit. it's gonna be dope. Um, that's been super fun. Uh, the only gas stuff is dope. We're testing out hella new growers. You know, pretty much like. Every other week, we're just testing out batches from different different growers, seeing what hits. Um, but we've locked in some really fire shit. Glitter Bomb is like probably the strain I'm one. most excited to drop soon. It's probably the craziest candy terps I've ever fucking like ever seen in like the, the THCA market. 
I was gonna say, I like how you're holding company meetings on Twitter. <laughs> what? <laughs> bro, I fucking, the spaces, bro. Say it again. <laughs> Holding company meetings on Twitter, he bro. He told us, he said, everybody always messages me about coming and working for me. Oh, get oh. Get a bag, get a scout. Oh, I got, I saw that. <laughs> welcome to the welcome team. Welcome to the team. <laughs> Stupid ass. I'm holding company, no, I, I've been holding Twitter spaces. I held two company meetings on Twitter. What's that mean, Twitter spaces? Oh, the, uh, the live, <laughs> live Like chat. you talk, yeah. yeah. Like you talk to people. You can have people on to chat. So like, you know, I've been inviting people on, asking them math questions, you know, like. Yo, you like accounting department? Like, what's the answer to this question? Yeah, if they get it wrong, I kick them out. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> Damn, there's a lot of pressure. The worst. Like, I'm not here for being an accountant. I'm a project man. Oh, I'm done. Nah, bro. Like, people raise their hand for it. You know, so like, if you raise your hand for it and you get on the spot and then you're wrong, it's you like, what do you get? Kick them out. You know. Oh my. That's God. just how it goes, bro. That's layoffs. Budget cuts. That's layoffs. Cuts. That's cutting the trim of the fat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, those, that bucket got me again. Mm -hmm. I like this piece mm -hmm. a lot. I like the bigger ass catcher. Yeah, it gets it way is. more suction. Like you got to actually like work a little harder to get it going. But then once you get it going, it's like forced. Yeah, once you yeah, get it yeah. going, it goes. She said, "Do me a favor. Can you bring up your uh, Instagram. I got another video. I want to show show Nick here. All right, here we go. So I did not know." I know Martin didn't know that. Nick has a very thriving rap career starting off. Oh, fuck. I heard. I heard that you have a very <laughs> thriving rap career. I just want to show everybody real quick. No. Look at that picture <laughs> and tell me it Bro. doesn't look identical. I think you sent me that, yeah? It's insane. <laughs> freeze, freeze frame that. Put it on. I have to... Look at this. Come Look on. at this it's my guy. side hustle. Look at this. <laughs> it's my side hustle, bro. It's your alter ego right here. <laughs> this is if, if I use the YouTube money to fund the videos. <laughs> Look at this, dude. this isn't profitable yet. Yo, this guy's a fan. I've seen him many times. JD. Oh, you have? Yeah, JDS. Yeah. I've seen him many times. He's That's always commenting. And I clicked on his name one day and went, Are you oh, kidding no me? Shit. There's That's no awesome. way. So when I saw this, I saw. Have you seen this on TikTok? No. There's like. 20,000 likes on the comments. Goblin? Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, TikTok is ultimate for inside jokes. Damn. And they'll be like, damn, this was a hoot and holler. And be hell likes on. Like, damn, fools really watch. But he was and already a fan, though? Yeah. That's sick. And I seen him pop up before. I'm like, wait. This is the same dude that always comments. So I just wanted to show. Dude, it's kind of ridiculous. It's You, you ever see those uh, AIs where it's like Peter Griffin? It's like. Swagged out Peter Griffin. Yep, yep, I love yep. those. It's like the AI version of Nick in that Mac bro, music video. Just like longer hair, bro, the money AI everywhere. Peter Griffin people always comment Goblin on those, bro. I see that shit all the time, bro. They're like, is that Goblin? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to bring that up. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, I did say that to you. <laughs> I, I did say that to you already. Yeah, I, thought it was, I thought it was funny that you got people financing carps. <laughs> so explain it. He's at my house and telling me. So no, explain in full. In full. What does that even mean? What? You have to explain it. What the financing? Yeah. What does that oh, mean? Oh, yeah. So we uh we to use people. something called Sezzle on uh, on Only Gas, which is uh, a pay in four payment platform. So you break it down into four payments. <laughs> it's interest free if you pay on time. I encourage people not to do it. Like I tell people, like listen, like don't you know, like just pay for it, you yeah. know. <laughs> but people actually ask for it, and people use it a lot. Um, so you can get. Get it and then just make payments on a car is insane. Yeah, people have been like doing front it on me. one Can you cart. front me? We can front now. <laughs> That's yeah. insane. We can front. Just make a deposit, you know? That's like, wild. You got 10 bucks? I'll take what you got right now. Yeah, how, yeah, long, yeah, yeah. how long you been having that going like that? Um, The brand's only been running for a little over a month. Uh, we just got started. Um, Before that, we were doing a lot of bag design and trying to figure out, like, what strains I really wanted to, to release. Um, It's kind of like the honor system, though, right? Like, you got to... What yeah, that you're like fronting them and they're getting it and then paying. So them. the way it oh, works okay. is, um, they give us all the money up front. Like Sezzle pays the the oh. vendor up front. Yeah. Um. Oh, so they got to deal with Sezzle. They uh, they make their money through people not paying on time. Which is why I tell. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which is why I tell people like, listen, bro. Like, if you're not gonna pay that shit, don't do it. Yeah. You know. Gotcha. So you don't even got to deal with it if they don't pay. That's cool. 
It's yeah, a, it's, not, it's not my problem. So, do you have fan reviews? Do you have anybody leaving comments yet? Oh, um, we're starting to gather reviews, but how much ridiculous shit's in there? I haven't. We just literally like last night just oh, started okay. like sending out emails for people to write them. Oh, so, we're gonna see, bro. <laughs> it's gonna get ridiculous, bro. I got a review the other day for our flower. Just <laughs> listen to the words. <coughs> Yeah, hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry. I'm sitting here. My joint isn't really hitting. Same. Right? I'm trying to rip it. I'm trying to like tweak it. My shit's not hitting. Yeah, I was trying to tweak it. It's not really hitting. Fuck. Maybe because I. I normally I, love Zotic. I, I unpack these. Maybe I don't know. So I'm sitting here at work with my lady. Twisted up a joint. Took some fat rips. Here we are. Our astral projection image is having its own astral projection. <laughs> this strand is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's just having an out of body experience. Our astral projection is having its own astral projection. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fire. Oh my God. I mean, people, there was one guy. Oh, there was one I loved. So there's a guy who ordered a cart. Um,. And he messaged me, and the cart was, like, barely not filled to the top. And he's like, bro, it looks like someone was ripping my shit. Shut up. What the fuck is this? Like, he sent a video, and he's like, this is fucked up. And then, like, 20 minutes later, and he's like, yo, man, I'm high as fuck. Never mind. <laughs> so either he accepted it or went, maybe it's not smoke. Yeah, he, I guess he smoked it, and he was like, all right, it's cool. No, he said, um, he was like, high as fuck, never mind. And then he said, uh, he was like, even if someone ripped it, I'm cool with that. <laughs> He got like, high and stopped getting mad about yeah, it. Yeah, like, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like that's normally, actually pretty funny. There, no carts are like filled all the way to the brim, you know, like they fucking they just aren't. It's a little yeah. air bubble room in there. Yeah, this yeah. This is what I did. I went like this and loosened up the cherry a little bit. See, that's I'm and scared of popping the cherry. It'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> Marty's just over here. Most organic Marty. time that's ever been said. <laughs> like this, at the, just so it's a little looser. It might start ripping. Okay, you've been in LA for a minute. You've been doing Instagram and all this stuff for a while. You've been doing comments and all that. In your memory, what is the most wild request you've had so far? For like something for me to do? No, like anything from a fan? Something they want, something they want to ask, whether it's a service, a living for you, living with you, and or hiring and living at the warehouse, and or oh, staying a, in the room, but you'll never of, see uh, them. I had Give so me something. There was I a guy... There was a guy who I honestly was like going to. I was like really debating, like, bro, should I send this to like the authorities? Like, this is terrifying, right? There was a dude who was explaining how he feels like he was like, I really want to like become big in the YouTube and weed scene, but like I feel rage and I, he was like, I feel anger and like sometimes I feel like shooting people at my school and shit. And like he sent me this crazy essay and I was like, bro, this is like serious dude like I, I didn't answer it but i was just like dude what the fuck and he was like i feel like a i hate society and i hate the way that like women are and like it was like some intel shit you know um but he sent me this long ass paragraph bro and this was like a year ago and i was like dude, a manifesto like, <laughs> that's what oh. they call those bro, he kept sending them to me he sent me like three or four of them for like a week and i just never i was like i'm not even gonna ant like bro it was crazy as fuck Maybe it was just some AI shit, I hope. <laughs> no, it wasn't, man. It was a guy. It was some guy letting you know, I need someone to, what was it? Stop me, Smee. You better stop me, Smee. <laughs> Bro, I'm You were Smee. I'm not Superman. I'm not saving. <laughs> we'll just go like. I'm not Captain save a hoe. So here we go. That's what you do for those people. You write back. We all go through rough patches or something like that. No, sometimes like people DM me on platforms, and I'm like, oh yeah, but this some dude who emails me, and he's like, bro, I think about shooting people. <laughs> like I'm not. So I get, I get a I'm lot of wild with fools, that guy. man. <laughs> oh, I know what you're saying because you open yourself up to it. Yeah, and then you're like, yeah. oh, now they're always good. I, I like to write a huge paragraph about good things and why well, you shouldn't do them, and then I try not to continue. Yeah, how do you stop you it? Can, you don't. You just stop. You just don't answer it anymore, bro. So how do you? Some people that are. Off. How do you, you how tell. do you deal you with tell. people um you tell. Yeah, of course. like DMing you directly for customer support instead of customer support email? I screenshot their fucking shit and send it straight <laughs> to my guy. Bro, and I, then hate I go it. through a whole text I thread and then I get it done and then I DM them this confirmation. Mm. <laughs> the past week I've been going, have you contacted customer service at all? No. 
That's what I say. They asked the podcast, like, have you tried yeah. customer support? But you know what's crazy to me is when people are like, dog, you can't even answer my shit. I'm trying to get this done. I ordered two hours ago. I put the wrong address. Help me out. I'm like, bro, what? Yeah, you can take my money, but you can't help me with my order. <laughs> and I'm, I always go with, hey, man, you got to chill out. Would you DM the owner of Nike and be like, dog, here's my order number. No, you hit up customer service. It's a whole department. We have employees for it. They can fix it because they got your information right at their fingertips. This is the email. It actually has a whole tab. And if you didn't have the tab, direct link. Got you, man. Mm. I don't say that. I just go, hey, have you contacted Commerce for First? If not, they can help you out right here. Boom. Every day, people hit me up for it. And I will try to help them. Yeah, sometimes people so are like, much. I hit up customer service yesterday. You haven't contacted me. Then I'm like, oh, maybe they slipped through the crack. And it's always, <laughs> Chad hits me back and goes, we've already talked to that guy like four hours ago. I don't know why he's, I'm sorry, bro. He's like, I'm sorry. I don't know why they're calling. I'm like, oh, all right. It's like 90% of the time, they're like, yeah, we, we already talked to them. Like, fuck, dude. <laughs> They just want to talk to you. Like, they just, I mean, just talk and say I, hi. I think there's a good amount of people who just want to use it as an excuse to like talk to you. You know, I, mean, I, I answer DMs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I answer them. and I, I answer DMs too. But also, I try to like, I just try to direct people to support. I'm like, bro. Yes, if it's if they're it's, gonna do more than I can. Like, I'm not at the lately. warehouse right now. I can't ship your order myself, but they can. That's exactly you what I've been doing lately. Yeah, exactly. Unless, I have like a. Um, not like a copy paste, but I, I do. Yeah, I kind of say that. I'm just like, like hey, the, listen, like the automatic reply. Pretty much, I need to have one of those on my door. Like, door. like, yo, That'd support can help you out. Um, they're there like five days a week. You know, fucking here's their their contact. They're actually at the warehouse right now. You know, get in touch. Get in touch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, get in touch. Um, so you had a a manifesto get dropped on you. Damn near, yeah, kind of scarily. Yeah. That's cool, man. Right. Not, not, no, right. no, you can't stop it's it. It's not cool. It's kind of cool. He dropped it at him, <laughs> but he deflected that shit. Yeah, you know? he did. He's hit circle. <laughs> He's fun. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not dealing with that shit, bro. Like, listen, you want to go on a rampage? Hey, that's your own life path. You know, <sighs> that's that's a life path. I can't you stop tell that. Him that. I, I'm not telling him that, no, because then I'm then I'm getting involved. That's Hell no, nah. I get it, I get it, I get it. I'm not saying he's out there that. looking at his computer screen. Going, uh, like I'm not getting. I'm also not going to try to stop this reply. this crazy man who wants to shoot people. I'm, yeah, it's I'm scary. not getting. It's my email. I can just close my eyes. I just closed it. You know, fuck that shit. <laughs> I can just close my eyes. <laughs> I can just delete that shit. Are you kidding me? What you oh, been? Shit. What you been listening to, watching? <laughs> It's the best new music show you've seen recently. Um, Playboy Cardi is supposed to drop soon, but uh, it's like the end of January and he, the album's not here. So That's cool, man. Who knows? You know, he dropped a couple songs, though, um, that were pretty good. Uh, besides that, V's had a really good album. Who? Uh, V's. V's, never heard. He's, uh, he's from Detroit. He's pretty good. Uh, his newest album is Fire. Super Fire. Very good. It's like kind of like weird at first if you've never listened to him before, but once you once you bump him a few times, it's like okay, you know I kind of get it now. Detroit's having a whole movement right now. Artists coming out of there. Detroit's popping, dude. Yo, you Detroit know what's not nice popping? What the damn Lions? Oh. I'm glad the Niners won because I, I like I'm in California, but mm -hmm. the Lions almost fucking made it, man. Dude, the Lions have not made that, it dude. in so long. It's sad. They said they've never been to the Super Bowl. They never will, bro. I realize they're actually way bigger losers than we are. And like they've never even went. Like, yeah. They haven't been yeah. to the they've fucking never oh, talking about even Bills, been. guys. Yeah. Not saying losers is like those <laughs> no, guys are. The losers. Bills are good. The Bills are like, you know, Marty. They, you got you're situated. You got some Slow good players. Slow fucking. <laughs> <sighs> Yo, we Marty just put out a bunch of candles. Right. Yeah, right. <sighs> oh, no. <laughs> that's how sad the side was. Listen, I'm a Bears fan. Oh, that's yeah. right. You're a Bears fan. We had a good sad. season in the fucking 80s. I'll say 1988. And that has been our legacy forever. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's all you guys have ever had. Do you care about anything beyond uh, the Bears, like the Super Bowl or anything? This is going out the day. Um, I'm going to watch the Super Bowl. I watched uh, this past Sunday. I watched uh, a couple days ago. This the, is not going uh, out the Chiefs day and the. Uh, yeah, right, right, right. I was like, what? It's going to be before the Super Bowl. So who who's are you betting? Like who's your picks? I don't know, bro. Niners going to win. You think? Yeah. 
But it's Patrick Mahomes, and they got Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. A hundred percent. But Taylor Swift's there to bring the eyeballs. <laughs> but the, the eyeballs script. are gonna be there with her. The script, whether though. or not they win or lose. Yeah. I think. Okay, but the I script. do think NFL is scripted. I don't. I've seen too many clips where I'm like, they even try to tackle him. Why not? I think it's like those guys are getting paid enough money to shut up about it. I think so. It made like, me sad. Dude. They probably pay him three hundred million for hush money. Our flawless kicker He's basically not missed a kick in fucking three seasons Goes out there and misses a, I'm pretty sure it was like a 30 yarder I said 40 but, I mean it Still, wasn't that far no. He has literally hasn't missed in years I feel like maybe And once. he missed the Wide one to tie right. it up Yeah I don't know man But I did remember going The Niners are down 17 mm. Probably come back <laughs> So OG's like Las Vegas Like damn dude They have such a a hold on it, mm. but no, no, because everybody's gonna start betting that the Lions are gonna take it, and the Niners are gonna come back. I think it's all, all this is like a lot of money thing. I I try to avoid sports betting unless it's UFC. UFC. Oh, you talk because the sport is not as reliable. Yeah, got yeah. you, got you. Um, UFC next month. Yeah, it's next February. month it's coming to Anaheim in Anaheim. Volkan- Volkanovski. Let's go. I'm so Let's unbelievably go. down to go. We looked at the Yo. tickets. They're not Dude. insane. How, mu- how much? How much? For front, right up front, right up front. 1400 I'll see you there. It's not insane, right? I'll see it's you there, like, bud. Wow. I'll tell you what. When I go to Vegas tonight, you're going to make that. I run this table. Mm. I'll tell you what. I'll see you there. <laughs> Let's I'll go. I'll fucking see you there. Yeah, I was supposed to go to Vegas yesterday with John, and the dates mm. were just didn't work. I'm like, no, so is John still out there? He left this morning. Oh, hell yeah. He's on his way out there now. So uh, he's going, Eric's going. I'm like, damn, I'm not going anymore. But I do have a lot of shit to get done. So mm-hmm. it's, per- it's fine. I think I'm going to go out there for the Super Bowl with April. Like, not, yes? to go, not to go to it. Like, April just. Dan, did you hear Marty? I think I'm going to go <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Whoa. We'll it's a new year. It's aligning with Valentine's. Wow. It's a new I'm year. About things. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. I have to be in Vegas on Valentine's Day mm. for oh. champs. Mm. So, but you're I'll be there for too. That. Well, I mean, I just hate flying. If I could not fly, I'd be so stoked. Mm. All right. Fuck flying. Here we go. So, Gobcast February. Only gas is going. You're Man. literally about to drive away to Vegas. <laughs> he let out a big. Uh, that's how I feel because I woke up my dude. Oh God, are you driving because you hate it. flying so much? Um, I just you know the way I look at it, it's like by the time I get through TSA and then get on the damn plane, it's almost yeah. the same amount of time, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just dude, I, and, and then smoke. I have my car out there. So you know, I have some friends that live out there. Oh yeah, that's um, true. That's cool. Go do, drive to them. Do we talk about on here the video of the fucking door getting ripped off the plane in the air? Oh my God, <laughs> dude. Boeing, listen, I've been saying for years no. that Boeing planes are not safe. I've been saying for years that Boeing planes are not What's safe. What's made you look. feel that way? Because uh, you can look at the accident rates. Look at Airbus planes. Oh. Airbus planes, they're made in Europe. They have like, they have a few models that have had no accidents caused by the plane. It's only pilot air, okay. right? No accidents out of millions and millions of flights. No, zero accidents caused by the plane. Whoa. Yeah. Like Their planes are real as fuck. Oh, like, if you, whenever I book a flight, I look and I try to pick Airbus if I can. What's the Airbus? Like, what is it's that? It's the brand. I've never it's oh, a I've Boeing competitor. Uh, really? Like, but, yep. United, Delta, Airbus. No, 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 no. That's the airline, but the, like, the, the actual plane, the plane brand. <laughs> I didn't know. Um, you know about it, this shit. So, when you, if you book through Google Flights, you can, you can see it anywhere. Uh, but if you go on Google Flights, you click the drop down on the flight you want to book. And in the bottom, it'll say the, the type of plane. So you're mindful of what type of plane you're riding on? Yeah. I, I asked Rosie, too. That. I don't fly on the Max I've ones, the Boeing Max that. ones. I just asked her not to get mm. me the skinny ones. Those are if you're going to fly on a Boeing, fly on a, one of the like OG ones, like the 737 or some shit. You know? Really? Yeah. <coughs> Do you think like, it has the potential to go down all the time? Or? Uh, well, I think the Max ones are scary because they're newer planes. Boeing's just cutting a lot of corners, you know? That's why the fucking bolts are loose and all this shit's happening. And a few years ago, remember when the Max planes got grounded because they crashed over the ocean and shit? There was two Max planes that went down and killed everyone on board, and they grounded all of them for, like, a while. Uh, And then they brought them back pretty quickly. And the reason that the planes went down is um, 
I'm not, I might not be 100% correct, but off my memory, is because the planes, like, they made them, like, bigger to call them the Max, right? But instead of actually building, like, the engines and the wings bigger to, like, make it fly normally, they just made it fly normally with software because the weight wasn't balanced very well. So sometimes it would just, like, fuck up and, like, the plane just nosedive. So literally, like, there, there was a fight where the plane just oh, went down. Are you shitting me? Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy as fuck. Um, I'd be so pissed. And then now they got the loose fucking bolts on the doors. Door popped off during a flight and shit. That like, that was one of those. Yeah, it was a Max plane. It was a Max plane. Don't fly on them, bitches. Did Don't you, you get on a Boeing? Did you Max watch plane? the Netflix movie about the the soccer team or the rugby team that crashed on the one of the Bro. Mount Everest or whatever? I've seen that. Yes, yes. Oh. That's crazy as oh, fuck. God, man, it's fucked up. Oh, that was horrible. What the worst part about it, quick spoiler alert, like a couple of the people ended up living in this scenario. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like my luck, the, I'll live be stuck out there forever. It like it <laughs> took them so long. This was my big takeaway. It's it's the worst yeah. situation you could ever imagine. There's cannibalism going on as our situation ever. But like they if they would have left right away, they waited. They're like waiting. If they would have just gone right away, they could have got out and like Less than two weeks, probably. It only took them like ten days to get to where they needed to go to where they. <laughs> but they were there Fuck. for like months. Oh yeah, that's the. Um, <laughs> oh my god, dude! What's the movie called? We just Emily and I just watched that shit the other day. It's like says it has snow in the title. It was in Spanish. The hell? Yeah. Snow piercer. I had to read the so uh, the subtitles. I didn't. Yeah, snow <coughs> That sounds right. Yeah, okay. Society of the one. Snow. It's the old one. Society of the Snow is what I'm talking about. No thanks. Seventy two days. Oh, a rugby team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, their They're destination, like to get help, was just ten days away. They they were like eating each other and shit. Alive? No. No. Like it was killing like, each other to eat. No, them? they were starving and freezing, and then. Oh, they're like, oh well, he's dead. Let's eat him. And then it became very normal, where they were just like, just like chicken wings. <laughs> like, yo, like, munching. <laughs> yeah, they're 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 athletic. Just make the trek. Eventually, the, some of them did. They thought there, a point came where they realized they weren't going to be rescued. That they had given up for the whole season. So they're like trying to wait out a rescue, and then they realized they weren't going to get rescued for the whole fucking thing. And then they started trekking out, and they you know some people died, and it wasn't. But some dude made it to the point of another person. 70 some days in but took him 10 days to get to that location two months to finally walk some shit like that it would have been maybe maybe 12 I hours been out there in, day three 12 hours in about like, i think it's time to go i mean you're on the you're no on day three you're right so his rescue comes yeah you're right because right. it's to the point that okay we're gonna hike all day we're gonna sleep in the freezing blizzard of a mountain let's go hopefully we live hike another just to get to the top of that ridge yeah. over there yep. and we get there and you look out and it's just Endless mountains. Fuck, dude. That's terrifying, <laughs> that's bro. That's scary as shit, dude. That's horrifying. Yeah. I'd rather go out freezing, walking, and dying. Just <laughs> you just freeze and just like... Why well, I always say, if I'm going to freeze, I'm going to pose sick. Oh, you want to know the really fucked up part? <laughs> Damn, not the death. Oh, this God. isn't even like... You're, they're going through all that. Huge spoiler alert. All right. Still Is it a brand this. new movie? Yeah. I don't know. It, it, it might <laughs> came be. out yesterday. Still go watch this. I'm, you got to still watch this. This is a story yep, from yep. the 70s. People banger. know the story or whatever it is. Banger. <laughs> death. Banger. Death. Yep. It's a banger. They be eating each other. The variable that you're not thinking about because you're like, okay, we're going to stay in the plane. We're in a, it's like Arctic freezing on top yeah. of this huge mountain. And you start getting slammed with avalanches. Oh, yeah. So the avalanche. now you're in the plane. Boom! Oh. A wave of snows now buried you. So now you're on top of the person beneath you. They're trying to get out. You're trying to get out. Trying to blast through the window of the plane. It's like drowning in water, but it's freezing snow. So now you go through essentially another plane crash. Oh, thanks, bro. <laughs> that yeah. You know how mad I'd be? Bro, and flying those? is scary. Oh, <laughs> flying is scarier now. Like, I got over it for a bit, and now it's scary again. I tell you. Now they're cutting corners on the planes and shit, and they're. I'm gonna Airbus is the way. Airbus, shit. bro. I'm telling you, fly safe. Yo, you gotta be conscious of that. Before we get out of here, 
Can I read that one more time? <laughs> yes, of course, bro. <laughs> um, Ashtray? Just something to poke it out with. Q-tip, Q-tip. Yep. There you go. Um, Thank you. Oh. So, yeah, this was a... This was fun. This is an early morning one. I feel so yeah. different. Awaken baby. So when yeah. are you gonna when are you gonna howl and when are you planning on letting people know about this big news you're gonna drop on everybody? Oh, I gotta wait a little bit. The big news? Yeah, the big news I told you before we started. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna wait a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's it's brand new. It just happened. I wanna wait a second. Yeah. Just to really get my some high nice. level chess shit, shit going in order. on right now for 2024 though, and that's for damn big chess. <sighs> <sighs> Makes me nervous, but I'm good. Damn. Uh, yeah, it's huge. It's you ever insane. get into playing chess? Oh yeah. Yeah, I just do this. Hurry up! Hurry up! Just keep moving. That's how I play. And you go. Oh, you want? Oh shit! Right. I had a stretch where I played against my dad like before school every morning when I was like seven. What? Oh, shit. Every morning. I mean, like, what you want me to grind up? A short stretch. We, you know, take that toad. Kind of Taught me a couple of little tricks and shit. Really? Yeah. See, Marty left this part out. <laughs> his dad was a chess genius. My, yo, morning. my dad was a straight hippie, like white dude. He he had that Charles Manson kind of look, like long hippie chess the, genius, bro. Yeah, and he had the chess hippie hair. Chess genius. <laughs> he was living out. He lived in L.A. for a stretch. So did my mom. Independently of each other. Oh, shit. But he lived, he taught chess at a park in Compton <laughs> in the 70s. It Turns out so Marty's random. dad was an actual CIA agent. <laughs> yeah, right? Infiltrating the music scene right. <laughs> in yeah. Buffalo, New York. Uh, because Rick James was there and they really wanted to know what right? was going on. OJ. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, uh. Marty. Actually taught chess random right random fun fact yeah but then he taught random me fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> just just a quick fun one my dad actually is cia operative got me thinking now <laughs> yeah teaching music class right? I don't think so. in all actuality like someone went in they never came out every time he had new <laughs> students every time it was actually a Nobody kill bill noticed. fight off your dad's just a badass <laughs> he's gonna open up his award and like there's a note it's your turn Oh, oh, Marty's all pissed. I just got comfortable, man. <laughs> I got a tar fight. Case. Fuck. <laughs> it opens hologram. If you're watching oh. this, that means as soon you, as I strum the guitar one time, oh, <laughs> Marty just <laughs> like Chester. in a like in Aladdin, like in Aladdin <laughs> when he starts to. <laughs> <laughs> that's Marty's flip flop. <laughs> Hair grows. My chemical Chops, romance starts mustache. to play. Real shit. I like it. All right, here we go. You're like the Prince of Persia, <laughs> but just of like hippie operatives. Yeah. Here we go. Again, even though the bong's here, I still wanted to do this. Uh, it's yeah. It's just wait till you does start, it. Well, you know, you've been podcasting now. You must have tried to light the mic a few times. A few times I've, I've like uh, this. I've, yeah, I've gone in a little bit. You know, like. <laughs> <I'm> a little <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, uh. before we leave. Because I know you have to start driving after you got high as shit for two hours. Yeah. And the wee early ass mornings and hours. Yep. <laughs> you might so, actually, yeah, you might. You're going to be traffic. You might miss some traffic. You are going to be traffic. Uh, so That's you're driving cold. straight there. You're going to be there for what, three days? Uh, Yep. I leave on uh, Friday. Good shit for uh, Hash and Glass Vegas. Nice. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't have tickets to either, so we'll see how I'm getting in. Uh, I'm just getting high. It's and been a gambling. long time since you've been deleted too, right? Um. Yeah, it's it's been a good bit, but I'm shadow banned as fuck right now. I, my account doesn't show up in searches or feeds. And yeah, it type it all the way in. I haven't been posting reels because of that. Because it just, you know, doesn't That's really funny. get anywhere. You know? Did you already start a new one for the podcast? Uh, yeah, I have one. I need to post something. <coughs> yeah, just start. Flipping I gotta start posting one. clips. Of the uh, the like pilot app we did. But I'll get on that. It's cool you got the experience with Pine Park now. Let's yeah, yeah, to really get into, into it. it. Before you start your own shit. Yeah, I'm so excited. So is there a start date on that or like a one or um, two? There's not like an exact date, but in February, it should be it should be getting cooked up. So nice. <laughs> should be should be dropping very soon. Uh-huh. Well, let us know. We will talk to Spotify and get that motherfucker on video. Oh, Fuck yeah. yeah. Yeah, we need to be on there. We need to that's, be on that's there. That's the future. That's like. Fuck they, yeah. They, Appreciate they, that. They actually want us. They like us. They like. It's weird. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Them and go. Twitter. Only platforms, I guess, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm advice. still not going to call it X, though. Yo, uh, you know what, though? Oh, Facebook shit. loves drug content. I thought we <laughs> really? all our shit on dude. Facebook. It's getting millions. Like these clips. One of your clips, it's got over a million on there. The, uh, on Facebook? Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Facebook goes hard for the clips for some reason. Really? We had the a couple over like one or two million. <coughs> robbery and revenge. You uh, <coughs> in the bathroom? Oh uh, yeah. Kids rob your boy. Oh fuck. <coughs> Yeah. Jesus Christ! They just go. I don't even think about them. They just all the all the drug content goes crazy on Facebook. Bro, I'm gonna have to start <laughs> posting on that. But do you Dude. like plug it on your YouTube and stuff? Like, oh, like our Facebook? No, <laughs> I just every, I post on every channel. Every time I post, it goes up on everything. It, yeah. Independently. Oh, <laughs> damn. Yeah, Facebook is for some reason like Facebook's stories. OP. They're dope. We've They're gotten almost 160k on there in like four months with zero what? effort. <laughs> just posting clips. Is it, do they monetize? No. Well, they oh. we got like three cents in our fucking account. Oh, uh, okay. All right. So you're working towards a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Some lollipops I buy at the gas station are the 30 cents. So, oh, there you go. If we get a dollar, we get all indulge. We hit a billion views on there. We might, there you cop go. One of them things. That's the fucking cop <laughs> one of them things. That's not even a too bad. Fucking lollipop. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. It's cool, though. It's cool because that's why we have to do other things. And it makes us not just, we just make videos and that's it. These other YouTubers have the luxury of going, I made forty thousand dollars off two videos. Like, oh my Bro, God. it's crazy, man. But we have to like, start brands and really like like Enterprise. You know, work. <laughs> like actually do some stuff, you know? Which is fine. But for all the new shit, on Instagram it's the G B L N. Yes. Twitter. The Goblin with three N's. <laughs> that's right. The Goblin with three N's because the guy won't give it up. Yep. YouTube. Goblin. Just Goblin. Yep. TikTok. Uh, I don't really post. You don't really post. I locked out. Yeah, bro. I, I, I mean, get I back just, in. they delete everything I post. Mm -hmm. So what about kick? Is that like a viable I have a streaming? TikTok.com slash Goblin, but um, I don't really stream a ton on there. I'm mainly on Twitch. GBLN 420. GBLN 420. Yeah. See, it's such a bummer that everybody takes all the variations of names. Yeah. We should just have That's the annoying. same shit. Dude, it's so hard to remember. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a dot. No, it's, it's actually not if you smart. type in goblin when I'm live on most of them, it'll come up or like, you know, when I'm, when you're trying to find me, um, Instagram's the only one where like, yeah, you probably got to type my name. I read that your name before was G A H B L I N or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Cause there's some dude, there's some dude who was like in a Boston. In a clan. Goblin. Yeah. There was some guy who was in like a, like a call, uh, call of duty clan, uh, that had more subs than me that, uh, called himself like goblin. And I was like, fuck bro. I can't, I can't, Use that name because then I'd be a fanboy, you know. Yeah. So I gotta like change it, yeah. You know? like, so then he just fell off, or what? Yeah, I just got. I was, <laughs> yeah, I just got more fell subs, off. I was, I was like, "Well, like, I'm back." <laughs> yeah, you know, it, that was back in the day when I did a lot of like Call of Duty shit. That once I started doing more of the, like drug stories, I was like, "No, I'm just, I'm going with Goblin." Yeah, yeah. You know? um, I respect that. Yeah, it just was what it was. Here we go. Yeah, it was what it was. Like, <laughs> all right, we're getting into it. But by then, he was probably gone. Mm -hmm. so I didn't really look into it. I was just like, "Fuck it." If you're gonna take the name, Come you gotta me. live up to this shit <laughs> for sure. Yeah. But yo, we got the fucking air going. There's fruit. It's, it's cold. early morning. It's it's. This feels like an early morning brisk day. Mm -hmm. to, it feels bomb. I feel like there's so much more room of the day left. Yeah, it's not seven at night right now. Yeah. It's one. Yeah, and we've been here for over just out two hours. I like filming in the morning. Mm -hmm. This is sick. Yeah, it's one great. thing I should start waking up earlier because I do feel like this. A little like, I'll go. I'll go to sleep if I was at home right now. Yeah, I'll go to sleep. That's how I feel. You got to drive. Yeah. I'm sorry. I have a hell of shit to do too. But this is just like a mm -hmm. a good start to the, the day. siesta. The siesta. People that embrace the siesta got it right. That Get up early. Go ham. Take that little nap. Why not? Yep. Then have the rest of your day. That yep. sounds bomb. Right? That's how you're supposed to do I would it. like to do that. I don't do that, but I like the I idea. I would like to do that. That yeah. sounds bomb as fuck. I respect people that do the shit I don't do. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, all right, so for all platforms, Gobcast is coming soon. Only gas. All right, yep. little catch up episode. Yeah, this is fun. And since What's we've seen you, you've been actually hosting and doing your own thing, doing your shit. You yeah, so I live out here now. I live out episode, here. But you're all fucking reckless and shit. You came in like <laughs> two years time. I mean, I'm still yeah. reckless, just like business wise. You know, mm. <laughs> you're way more calm down, bro. <laughs> Come on, you drove here. True, true. You were shit faced on the Uber. I mean, if I was shit faced, I probably still would. You got here me. early. True. On the earliest episode we've ever done. Sure. You're pretty. You're, you're responsible, man. 
All right, you're not stealing <laughs> license plates and fucking changing hubcaps. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing good, man. You're responsible and got your car. It's like, no, this is the better choice. Bro, I would so say from the first time we got here. Super responsible. Yeah, a good flip. Good business flip, and I like it. Now you're part of like three more companies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Literally. Do my Why? thing. <laughs> Do my thing. I love it, dude. So go Cubis. Uh, is, was it Fuma? Fumo is coming Fumo, soon. Sorry, Fumo. Uh, this year, we're uh, in a few months. We're going to be first revealing some stuff. Yeah, and, you know, getting ready to do some very, very sick stuff. Um, in Pine Park, in Pine Park, <laughs> and only guess, and only four. Yeah, so you got a portfolio. You got your shit going, man. Yeah, only guess. Fucking <clears throat> shout out my friends at Base Smokes for making it possible. You know, I wouldn't be able to do it without their logistics. They, it's, the amount of oh, sh- it's so much work, bro. It's insane. It's this? insane. It's like that. Everything yeah. is like, oh, that, oh, this, this, this. And thank God there's people that can think like that. Thank fucking God. I can't do that, man. I can't. Like, I would just go, how much do you sell? I, oh, I love, uh, I love being probably. able to just mainly do like, you know, responding to, to people who buy, like, you know, responding to customers, smoking the weed, just being like, this is good. This is not. I get so much fucking weed sent to me like every few days. It's like, yeah. Ridiculous, right? Fucking pick this, pick this, pick this. Like, what do you like? You know? And it's just like. It's so fun, like all these different terps. I just, I'm just like, yo, I want to try these terps, you know. And then like, we just try to find whatever we can get, you know, like what the best fucking iteration of that is. Um, it's so fun, bro. It's so fun. See, I love that shit. Just smoking weed yeah, all the time. Weed, for, go, yes, no, 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 yes. I feel like I feel like a um, wine sommelier. Like I feel like I'm just like having little sips, like a little bowl. Like hmm. exactly, you know. It's exactly what it you is. You guys are professionals. Yeah. Like, yeah, you like, know exactly what this will not hit. People will not yep. like this. Yeah, like, no, this isn't. Small number of people like this. Not worth even putting the skew out. Yep. Yes, dude. Yep. The, you have to start thinking of, like, not just what you like. Yeah. I know I'm not a huge Blue Dream fan, but our Blue Dream pen sells, like, The more affordable crazy. shit that I've been doing, I definitely don't consider my preferences. But, like, the top end shit, yeah, that's, like, my, like, selected, like, that's, like, the, Private you know, the goblin hand selected yeah. shit, you know? Like, yeah. this is my, you know, my stash, mm-hmm. you know? Because <laughs> remember I told you, I was, like, we're thinking about doing smalls. We want people to get mad about the quality. And you're, like, bro, people love smalls. No, people Full. really do. We actually, um, we just dropped some some greenhouse fucking smalls. And I tell people, like, listen, bro, these are mid. That's a straight this is fucking deal, mid. But we're doing ounces for 65 bucks. They're already the event sold out. We're trying to get more, but like, you know, and it's like, listen, bro, like you're not here for terps. You're not here to it's ask about the strain. Plant. You're not here for pretty shit. Yeah. You're here solely if you just want to get high for a good price. It's like two dollars and thirty cents a gram, you know. It's I mean, it is yeah, what it you, is. You're getting yeah. what you pay for. There's a dollar exactly. menu for a reason, yes. bro. Yes, like you exactly. know what you're getting. And people love Don't it, complain. bro. You know, you know what? That product, so the uh, the ounce of greenhouse shit, because I was trying to figure out, I was like, yo, how can we just get, like, the most budget fucking nugs? Because we had smalls of the good shit for, like, 100 bucks an ounce, right? But we're like, how can we get, like, greenhouse smalls? Like, how can we, like, really get the best just THCA straight to people's lungs, you know? Like, larf, um, larf bottom shit. Yeah, right? you know, yeah. like, it's not it's not beautiful, but it's fucking two bucks. I mean, yeah, it has yeah. to be that price. Um, it has to be. It has yeah. to be. Yeah, that's just the, that's where it is. And it's a volume thing. Like, we don't make, like, crazy fucking money selling them. It's just to fulfill that demand. Yes, exactly. See, our fear was, are people gonna get mad at us that it's like, hey, this is not what I get for 90 of my uncle. I'm like, your uncle grows fire. What are you talking about? Yeah. You don't pay Overhead dickhead, it's outside. I mean, I think, like, you know, a, a lot of like, you know, when I look at the stats of like the, the people that are buying the only gas and I'm checking out like back end and stuff, a lot of those people kind of live in bumfuck, you know, uh, a lot of people who, who end up buying like THCA, they're in an area where they can't really get it, which makes a lot of sense. You talk know? about the bottom shit. Um, any of the shit, but like, uh, well, like, what's yeah, your, mainly what's your the bottom state? shit. The top end shit is like, like. People in like Cali buy that, which is like you know, our hey, biggest state. You know, yeah, it's California, yeah. dude. Fucking um, <laughs> what's it called? But I get like for for like the smalls in particular. Yeah, it's a lot of people in places that they just can't get weed. North Dakota, just like, South hey, Dakota. Yeah, what's the best bang for my buck? Fucking smoke, and that's it. You know, um, it's like wine in a box versus like the shit you got to go behind. The, oh, I need to get that out of the case. Yep, and it's I legally it. delivered, bro. It's like fuck, dude. 
Even like that shit, even the smalls, I feel like is better than the shit that I was buying off half my plugs in high school. Like, well, I mean, because THCA is just weed. It's, yes, it's just weed. Like, and, and like half the shit that just the weed standards as a whole nowadays, like what is classified as, as like the bullshit now is so crazy. Well, I grew up here. Yeah, you different. You live different. Way different. You live different. Bro, I know we what were, trash weed is. We were smoking bullshit, bro. Yeah. We were smoking. I've seen trash, I've smoked trash pow, cow patty outdoor dog shit brick weed. Yep. I have. When I was a kid, I didn't know who to get it from. Well, I know the neighbor probably had ten packs of fire. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but it's different out here. Yeah, I, it's a blessing to be out here. Yeah, the so basically. I can see why people can like a cheap ass ounce. Yep. It says like, I don't care for the taste, bro. I'm just smoking while I'm fixing my yep. car. I can see that. Like a mechanic and shit. <sighs> or the, the college student, like, bro, I just smoke a bowl every night. This yep. lasts me two months. Mm -hmm. I get it. I totally understand. But damn. Yeah, that's all. It's like <laughs> IPAs versus like, give me that 211. Mm -hmm. Give me that. Exactly. Give me that steel reserve, please. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what you're getting? Still get you high, still get you drunk. It's, it's straight up, you know. It's just we different kind of high, you know. It's just that's uh, a high, you know. Right. And well, was it trap or die? <laughs> <laughs> Let it go, run it. Um, all right, good shit, dude. I know you have to get on the road. And you have to start driving. Not right out, right away. We're gonna wait a while. Yep, yep. We're vibe a little bit. And then it's time to go. Yeah. All right. Have a couple <laughs> drinks. Is that what you said? Yeah. Have a couple drinks. Of Jesus course. Christ. Time for a f good booze cruise. A booze yeah. cruise by yourself? Oh yeah. That's just called alcoholism. <laughs> Who's drinking We're on the way to Vegas <laughs> to go to Let's a go. weed event tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's gonna hit on the blackjack table immediately. I'm going hard tonight. That's all I and know. And then we go to the UFC. Let's go. I'm so hype. I'm so hype. All right. Thank you so much for being here, man. Thank, Thank you for, for being having here. me, bro. The earliest episode Thank you for having me. of all time. Good shit. Yeah. Early morning. Marty's got his whole day ahead of Marty's been up for five hours. We all got our whole days ahead of us. I'm so excited. What a great time. What a great time. <laughs> yeah. guys. Got some shit. Um, Fuck yeah. So thank you so much. Everybody go follow the socials. The, oh, shit. I'm like, what is that? Sorry. In the, <laughs> in the camera, it's the bug. No, it's oh, fine. Okay. No, you're, no, leave it. Okay. I just would look at it. What the fuck? And I'm staring <laughs> at it. Sorry. All right. It's a good day. Um, guys, thank you so much for being here. This is Marty. This is Goblin. This has been a high ass episode. The early morning wake and bake episode. That's a great title. I'm wake big, and bake dude. with Goblin. I'm big. Because I feel it. I feel like, oh, we didn't have to go to school today? Hell yeah. Smoke as soon as we wake up. I haven't done that in a minute, man. Like, just wake up and just chill with people to get high. It's been a minute. Yeah. Like, a long time, actually. Yeah. Unless I'm on a, like, in a cabin is with a, This is a great way can bake. It's yeah. a great way to start my uh, my Vegas day. So Let's run it. Guys, uh, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you. This has been the Dope as Usual Podcast. I hope you smoked along with us. And if you didn't, I hope you smoke along later. And if you're at work, I'm sorry. If you're at school, even worse. But remember, you can you're going to go home soon. And if you're driving, please be safe. I am. <laughs> I can feel this right here. Like. Sorry. Guys, thank you so much. If you're driving, please be safe. This is the Dose Usual Podcast. Have a dope ass day. Nice. Let's Doses. do it. Doses. Banger. Good shit, guys. Oh. Banger. I can tell How long was that? It was a real one? effort to like get that last part out. It was. <laughs> oh.